Go ahead and give me a little mic check. Damn, I was too. Cause it was Are we already like, in this bitch? No, like, I'm just oh. saying it was just too proper. Like, ah, okay, okay. I'm not hating on it. I'm just yeah. like it was just too like too. Adult, you wanted dude. me to year? Yeah, you had to like be like, creative, dude. Oh, my bad, bro. Now I now you, I feel you bad. You want to redo your mic check? Dude? No, no, it's all good. It's all no, good. It's, it's too, too late, late for that. now. It's like no, no, we'll, in the past. We'll leave pretend it, it never past. happened. We'll yeah, pretend. exactly. I'll have another chance. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Donnie, go ahead and give me a mic check real quick. Hey, yo, you're. What the fuck was that? Dude, that was sad, bro. That was the <laughs> lamest thing I've ever heard let's of. Just, it was like, forced. Let's just, let's just keep going. Did you, was forced. Did you come up with that? <laughs> well, no, he made, he came up with it. Carlos did? Carlos came I, don't, up with I never it. told him, bro. I, I can't imagine Carlos bro, you guys definitely saying something as lame as shit like that. Mm. You're... You're... Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not, man. Yours was so country. <laughs> yeah. You're... <laughs> Car- Carlos is like calling pigs and shit. Well, shit, boys. Here we are. Episode 17. 17. 17. 17. Motherfucker right now. Nice, dude. We're 17. 17. We're about to be 18, dude. Might be legal. We're about to be barely legal. Are you going to put like seasons? I don't know, dude. Or are you just going to lump them all in together? I'm thinking of changing the name of the podcast every 20 episodes. Right? What? Nah. So right when people get on board and they're like, you know, I kind of like this podcast and what they're doing. We switch genres. We and switch we names. Over. We change a couple of you guys out. We get rid of a few of you. So what do you turn? You go from brown. You just go darker. You go. You get <laughs> some black friends on here. <laughs> like we have black friends. Though. I, uh, do you? If you have to say it. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> For that's all the, they know, that's always I'm the worst. Myself. That's true. You, <laughs> they don't know what we look like but that's what i'm asking so you're gonna trade us in for like the next level like up or down just people that sound better just people that say funnier stuff act cooler damn he says we're not funny dude. smell better damn smell better <laughs> damn that's that's fucked dirty up. right now you bro. guys put the farts in radio farts just just know oh that. when the frogs are the, when the frogs are out the frogs yeah, are out dude. Yeah. that's crazy just so crazy. everybody knows frogs is our little uh that's our, our code word for farts around for here. Farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in the house. Anytime you, you hear a little toot, that's just the frogs, it's baby. Just the frogs, it's just dude. the frogs. Just the frogs. Just keeps after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. He's just croaking for a bit. <laughs> he's just, croaking. He's just letting, let, letting it be known that he's here. He's, he's present. <laughs> the frogs out there like, you <laughs> <laughs> Well, fuck, man. We haven't done this in a while. Huh? No, bro. I, well, how, well, we did it last week. I've been getting upset, though. I haven't had... I, we haven't put out... I had like almost a full week off from bartending. Yeah. But I was supposed to do all all these podcasts. In my head, I'm like, dude, I'm going to record like five episodes. Just get ahead of this shit. Well, I thought at one point Ryan was going to come through, bro. He was. It's my fault. Oh, it's Ryan, I'm talking shit to everything's you. Everything's my shit fault. about you right oh, now. Oh, you're going to talk shit? I, no, I, I, bro, he needs to stop fucking or dicking around and get on this podcast. Oh, dude. It, well, he's going to be upset that you said that because he... Oh, he don't was tell supposed me. to. I, I didn't get a memo. I bailed, dude. I, I bailed oh, on dude. everyone this week. Ryan, well, Ryan I take it back, Ryan. I Ryan, take it back. Ryan McArdle, yes. Openly gay man, Ryan McArdle. Damn. One of our good friends. He oh, He was supposed to come on the podcast. And but Antonio. You bailed. Yeah. Well, Antonio, to be fair, this is how I played it, right? So you're, you're, you're still, you're still, ex- it's another excuse. Another excuse. Okay. But I've got a good one. All right. I've got a good one. So I was in this little stupid little funk all week and i was like i don't know i don't i don't feel social i don't want to do anything so i kind of went to my little hole and just disappeared right but antonio and i had spoke previously in the week about doing thursday we usually do thursday if we want a podcast because he's off and i'm usually off so earlier in the week we talked about it but when thursday rolled around i kind of just sat there and looked at my phone and was like we'll see right like we'll see if Antonio hits me up and he's got any desire uh, to actually do this podcast, uh, I'll do it. Uh, then, yeah, then, yeah, I'll sack up and I'll fucking, I'll do the thing. But Antonio never hit me up. So you you're bitch. blaming him. So I'm blaming Antonio. Okay, okay, yeah, fair enough. And Ryan, if you're listening, you can also blame Antonio. Join me in blaming him. Were you guys gonna have them together? Or you were? Ha- I think it was. Yeah, I think it was gonna be me, Antonio, and Ryan. Wow, that would have been a little too white. A little too white. That would have been like little. all white. Yeah. Well, Antonio was. Well, Antonio's, Antonio's pulling. Bro. Pulling, still white. He's yeah. Still, yeah he's but fifty percent Puerto Rican, as opposed to like two and a half whites. 
that's the show we'd be putting on. Yeah. It'd be like a terrible spinoff of Charlie Sheen. Talking yeah, about two and a half men. Two and a half whites. Get the fuck out of here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 okay, boom, 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 I, I love that show. It's I used, so funny. I, that show, I used to it, watch it. It was unironically good. Like, I used to watch the well, show. Well, now, Charlie Sheen got replaced Charlie by Sheen's Ashton funny. Kutcher. Yeah, no? I, I tried to watch a couple of the Ashton Kutcher episodes. Hey, but like, they're... You, they're, they're it's not that I have anything it has against you. Own humor. You'd like them. I I just <clears throat> it's tough for me when a show does a complete like change Revamp, of cast. Yeah. yeah, and they gotta do these weird pulling of strings to like, oh, Charlie died and this why, happened. Why and I'm was like, it that they canceled Charlie because he was on the drugs? Like dude, drugs, right? That's yeah. why they canceled him in real life. Yeah, but on the show they killed. He got hit by a bus. Yeah. That was how they killed then, him off. I've never show. seen that. Episode, and then Ashton actually. basically inherited the money. No, yeah, actually, no, well, he was already rich. He's already rich. Yeah, he that's the, the thing. I, that's what I couldn't get into. That whole storyline of like Ashton Kutcher's playing this really rich guy who just like kind of shows up, and then um, Alan, you, right? Alan's Alan just brother. stays at the house. Alan's just at the house, living there, but he buddies up with Ashton Kutcher's character, and it's like. Well, yeah, so, it's cutesy, so, but it's so like Alan's just mooching off of his his family. Yeah, well, dude, Alan is a notorious yeah. mooch. That his That's whole so character. Was I've just, never seen the full the full like I've seen bits shows here and there of Two and a Half Men, but I don't know the whole story. Oh, it was it. good. It's it was a long series. It was a fun it's so show. Cool. It's but already um, ended. Too, the kid, right? the kid went kind of off AWOL? off his thing for a he minute. He went Home Alone real quick. He went everything, bro. He went Christian, but then he went like full anti everything like where he was just like yeah he he was just doing all he quit the show originally because of faith i guess he was becoming very religious and he decided like he didn't want to be yeah yeah especially his character was getting older on the show so they had him doing scenes where it was like he's smoking weed he's he's hanging out with girls yeah yeah but like he well you can't get mad at that but that show that that show's done right when people take an extreme turn you know sometimes they just they have to become all about something to like I'm sure now. I, I don't know what he's up to now, but I don't think he's the same in that regard. What were you but saying? That show's done, right? Two and a Half Men. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, think I so. think they fully wrapped everything. Yeah, because it, like, it, it wasn't getting the ratings it was supposed to get. Well, I no, guess. that show started in like 2009, 2010. Yeah, the original show, like with Charlie oh, with Sheen, Charlie, that yeah. shit ran for a long time. And he, he was, apparently he was <clears> getting paid. He was an actor that was getting paid the, the most, most at the series. time, dude. Yeah, no, for the for most episode in, in TV. You don't afford. To bang fucking seven gram rocks. Well, you don't get to live the life of cocaine strippers every day, bro. And that guy. Seven grams. He. That's what he said in an interview. He was like, in I was day? banging seven gram rocks. <laughs> dude. Tiger blood. You don't remember all that crazy no, shit, no, dude. Oh, what the dude. Fuck? That's winning. Crazy. I've never. Winning. T- Charlie Sheen was like coining all these catchphrases. He was like. Um, I don't but know it was the cocaine talking now. the whole time. Yeah, but he was the oh, fucking but, coolest dude. He be eat it out. You know. You know how they made the cocaine. Uh, cocaine bear. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see a spinoff of oh, Cocaine Sheen. Oh, man. They should have let him write it. That would be hilarious. You know, because then there, there would well, be like some real cocaine perspective. Cocaine Shark or some shit like that. Oh, my God. You yeah. know, I had a funny... Uh, I'm not going to self... It's true, though. It did I'm happen, not going to proclaim it as funny, but I left a comment on Instagram that was like... Um, about the Cocaine Bear? About Cocaine Bear. It's like top of ratings or whatever, like talking about the numbers. And I was like, I preferred Meth Weasel, to be honest. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> a lot of people liked it. And then people were doing their own little spinoffs, like of bro. different drugs and animals. And I was like, oh, this is pretty fun now. What yeah. kind of animal... You and animals, bro. <laughs> You and animals always find a way back to each other. They're the easiest thing to pick Yo, on. They're so what stupid. What <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> You're what stupid I, too. What am I? One of I know this guy. Like he's a manager in one of the restaurants next to mine, and he he came in yesterday, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm gonna take my son to go watch Cocaine Bear," but I told his mom, "Do not." Tell your mother that we're gonna go watch this movie, yeah. and then I'm like, "Fuck, why are you here?" And he's like, "Oh no, I just figured grab a baggie here and then go with my son and we'll watch the movie." And I'm like, "Yo, stop! <laughs> Get like, the fuck stop. out of here!" He's like, "I'm kidding. I'm just having a drink." That's he was right. waiting on his son to arrive to come uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Bro, that's I would so have been funny. like, "Yo, no!" I la- I, was, I was laughing my How ass off. How do you explain that to a kid? I didn't know what cocaine was till it was probably I don't know at least Dude, middle nobody, since, school. Like, I guess. 13, nah, 14, dude, I, I I I think I found out at an early age. A co- cocaine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out weed pretty early, but not weed and cocaine about pretty early. Damn. Like I've se- like I saw people and I saw them do it like when I was a kid. So yeah. I was like, oh, I know what they're doing. Like I can. I know. Now, when I was little, I would just see it on movies and shows. I did hold a crack rock when I was a kid. Oh my that was God. a fun experience. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. So there was we used to live in this. Um, well, I used to live in this neighborhood, Cocoa Park in Coconut Creek. 
But there was this other neighborhood down the street where all my friends lived. Like, literally every friend I had was in this neighborhood, Cypress Shores. But there was a lot of, like, you know, a lot of families, like, defunct fucking crazy drug families and shit. Okay, okay, it was okay. just low-end apartments, you know? And one time there was, this, entire, entire there was this kid in the neighborhood who was, like, much older than all of us. But he would always hang around. Like, there was always these older guys that they were, like, teens, but they lived in the neighborhood and shit. And this one time I was sitting there waiting for one of my friends to come out of his house. And as I'm standing there waiting, the kid rolls up. And I know him. I've talked to him before. Like, he's just, we treat him like the crackhead. We're like, oh, here comes fucking this guy. Uh And he rolls up on his bike, fucking stops. And he's like, yo, do me a favor real quick. And he just hands me this bag with, I didn't know what it was at the time. I later on in life realized, oh, that was, that was crack. Like this, this white shattered up fucking, like, I don't know. Glass, it, it, yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like glass, glass, but like drywall at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And he hands me the bag, and I'm just like, uh, and I know it's bad. I I don't know I'm holding crack, but I, I know, like you feel, you're this like, this is not good. good. Like, yeah, I should and, not have this in my and hands. And dude, he runs into like somebody's house to like you know do whatever, and I'm standing there just holding it. And I remember sitting there looking at the bush. I keep glancing at the bush, like, should I just put it in the bush and run? Should I just leave? But I, I know I'm going to see this kid again, and he's going to be he's, like, he's an older kid. He's bigger than me. Like, I don't want him to like beat me up. Yeah. So I was just like, fuck, dude. And I'm just standing there. And like five minutes later, he comes out and gets it. I hand him like the sweatiest Ziploc bag you could fucking imagine. Like, Yo, I'm shitting myself here <laughs> he's, holding he's, this What if like, I ruined it? I ruined his crack with my sweat. I'm like, here you go. It's all soggy. Right. He's like, yo, that's going to be 30 bucks, <laughs> bro. Like, motherfucker. He's going to charge you up. But I remember I was like, just later on thinking about it. I was like, holy shit, dude. I'm pretty much Scarface. Yeah. yeah. Right? I don't know. You thought you just said it. Just being, you're being a mule. You're that, that, that is how white people think. They, they like listen to a, will listen to a song, like a hip hop song. And then yeah, immediately I'll, I'll, in your head, you're like, man, I would shoot a motherfucker. Yeah, I swear. I wish I, I would. <laughs> It's just crazy. Yeah. I don't Dep- know. Depends on the white because it can be either rap or country. Uh, dude, well, maybe that's just it. Maybe white people just, maybe we just adapt too quickly to like a persona. We're like, what kind of white person can I be? Well, and then like, we pick one and we're like, all right, yee doggy, you know, or, or fucking, you know, like the white character. guys in the hood that are just like terrifying. There's but, nothing scarier than a white guy in the hood. I'm sorry, dude. That the- There's nothing scarier than a white guy in a hood? Yeah. Yeah, because he's on the fence all the time, bro. He's on the offense completely the whole time. I just, there. I just think if you made it, like if they accepted him into the hood, and they're like, you know, but this you see, guy's still thing. here. I've, I've seen a couple where they actually do make it, but then they start turning like hood, like they, they're going from white to hood. Yeah. Oh, what they went from white to hood? Yeah, they yeah. weren't just like no, no, no. They grew up that out. way. Yeah, they were like. A, a, but are like, they real hood or are they like no, no, no like Instagram hood? Like Malibu Most Wanted type shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like you can't, yeah. you can't make the shift. You, no, you either grow impossible. up in that shit or you're faking it. Yeah, you know, yeah. like uh, Tom Hanks' son. I think I Chet, mentioned it before. Yeah, Chet yeah, Hanks? Chet. Yeah, dude, I seen a video the of guy him just, literally like just yesterday of him like, oh, I'm, I'm going through depression, this and that, like because uh, everyone's overshadowing my dad's spotlight, and then he just goes on like a weird fucking. <laughs> Rants trying to sound southern as fuck. Like I don't give a fuck. I shoot a motherfucker. Like I was just like, what the fuck just happened? And then he sparks he a made joint, like a and he's like, left, bro, like he just completely changed his persona. Bro, like, the guy, yeah, he was, he was speaking fucking so um, this, patois all, like yeah. a couple months ago. Like he was doing this like Jamaican character. He's like, I gotta have Jamaican patty, <laughs> bro. He's like, come get the one. I'm gonna go smoke one, dude. He was doing this like horrible, and and people were just like. I don't know. They were just like, "That's Chet." Right. <laughs> that's what Chet. can I say? <laughs> but that man could have a... been big if he really would have paid attention to him. So was I he mean... bitching about his dad being bigger than him or taking a spotlight? You spotlight, said? yeah, yeah. Bro, of beginning. course. He's not like, bro. Does he know who his dad is? <laughs> yeah. Forrest fucking Gump. You will never top off <laughs> yeah, Forrest dude. Gump. Period. No, of course, of or, course. Or like you know, fucking Castaway, dude. Like, yeah, come on, bro. Wilson. Why did he always play those type of roles? Like, dude, because he killed it, dude. These are movies that won him Oscars, right? I guess so. I, I have no clue. Forrest Gump had to. I'm had sure it did. Him a yeah. Fucking Oscar, dude. He killed it. Oh yeah. Also, I'm 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 done looking things up on the podcast. Hell yeah. Right. Why? Because I think we should just talk out our ass. I don't think we should know what we're talking about. Well, no, I mean, I like, I like we have to, to prove some something. Because yeah, then I get, I get antsy about it. And you're I'm like, worried I got, that I, you're wrong about something? 
No, not even that. It's just like, well, yeah, I might be wrong, but <laughs> want to. It would be like I want to know the right information too. No, uh, no, I get that. It's the curiosity kills the cat thing, but like I'm, I'm still, I feel I'm that. willing to get killed for it. Well, I figured. You know, is this? I'm sorry. No, no. I feel, I feel like the table is vibrating, dude. It's by my phone that's vibrating. Oh, yeah. Yo, because of my messages coming turn out that right now. Fucking vibrate. What it's the work, dude? It's work, dude. So- what is like, that app? What is that app? Teams. You guys? Right? Teams. Oh. It's like a Google Teams. Oh, okay. So like, we're Mira, all like ahí, ahí, lado los Man, Spanish people are weird, dude. Dude, they go <laughs> off on that shit, dude. No, but you know what though is, I find it weird when people use like a WhatsApp and. Um, I got WhatsApp too, dude. What are the other ones? Of my There's other ones. I don't know. I just what's oh what's God. the reason for downloading these apps? Maybe I'm stupid, but because I don't. Because in some places, like it's just easier access. Well, yeah, because you don't need the long distance roaming. Yeah, it, it, it does it's just Wi-Fi. But you need you Wi-Fi. You have to be on Wi-Fi to use it, right? Yeah, either Wi-Fi or your own data. Yeah. But if you're using your data, is it using it's less charge, data? It's going to charge you off the ass. Not really. It doesn't mean. Data, it doesn't no. mean it's gonna, I just it's, never got it. I, I always see people. It just with helps different people communicate because you don't want to well, have to pay for roaming. When you're international, it's going to charge you more immediately because yeah. you have to pay for the minutes. Okay. Or for per messages. I, I know I a just lot of never, folks that use WhatsApp, actually. Like, a lot of Spanish friends use WhatsApp more than they I'm use iMessage. Yeah. The only people who but have ever suggested because, it to me. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't blame you. I understand. I thought about that once upon a time. But then well, once, I figured out because, like, everyone just uses WhatsApp yeah. to te- speak to people back home and shit like that. So, it makes it easier. And a lot of people use shit like, like Discord and stuff to, like, I organize. I do. Discord, I've used I've once or twice. No and then what the hell that is. Yeah. Not, uh, to watch a couple of shows with other people and shit like that. Is that what you do? You watch stuff together? Depending on what you want to do. Well, I know you can do like other stuff. I could be gaming and I could be talking to them at the same time and like they're probably gaming the same thing, but we're just having a conversation while like gaming at the same time. Oh. So there's like a group chat. Just nerd stuff. Yeah, it's just nerd. I mean, ah. Yeah, you get I mean, a, like some people have more access. Like if it's like say if I don't know something, they'll go on there and then like they'll like teach you how to do certain coding or whatever the fuck it is. Like there's different groups. It's like a Reddit. I love how your def- your defense for it. It's I not, think it's, cool. it's not nerd it's not stuff. Nerd they just they I teach you coding. It's either. like Reddit. <laughs> Those it's are like, like the most nerdy like, responses. Yeah. Like what all these shit? I don't Reddit. You don't know Reddit? Okay, I, I know Reddit. Reddit. I got I into late. 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 I'm I'm good on Reddit. I don't think I use Reddit for the right things though. <laughs> Reddit is very white though. Reddit is, is like it? yeah, dude. I mean, just read some of the comments sometimes. When you see what makes, I don't read the comments in those that often. I'm obsessed. I'm really into like the. Uh, just whatever is yeah yeah well that's why i I would go to reddit because i used to like the discourse i felt like it was one of the more honest social medias where people weren't just like saying shit for attention because there's no you're not there to like up your profile or whatever you're just there to talk talk. so there's no like benefit of like saying the most out most outrageous thing or doing this or that but after a while i was like i'd read through comments i'm like oh these are just all the nerdiest white people ever and they're all just saying like the nerdiest white guy stuff ever and i was like i don't know you know because a lot of it i was like how is this the most like um agreed with opinion on this thing and i'm just like sitting here reading the through this and i'm like people. oh it's a bunch of dorks just like yeah well actually this is why this goes on and you're like oh got it I well see you were one of them though i was yeah on an early stage too well, no i, I, I was in wall street bets that's different we're not dorks oh yeah we're redax a bunch of dorks <laughs> <laughs> redax. <laughs> That, that's hey they taught me how to make money baby shout out to pre yeah, gamestop wall street bets where hey, the boys knew what they were doing it was a uh, good times good times with those guys i feel like there's too many people putting out false information nowadays so well yeah i mean you go in there that was the key to that that whole subreddit though was like anytime someone went in there or anytime people were all saying the same thing like yo this stock is gonna go up buy this buy this the key that they teach you is like just do the opposite. They're like, yo, if everyone's saying this, that, the other about like this thing going up, it's probably going to go down. Because you know, when too many people buy into one thing, especially in like finance type stuff, it's it's hype. They're yeah. just buying the hype, and that shit is not going to last. But during the GameStop run, I fucking I made some some dough, and I was I thought I was a. Uh, I literally was like, yeah, I could probably, you know, run a run a boat brokerage or something. If I can, if I can make it to the future to the point where they make a time machine, I would load up on like a couple stocks and I'd be like, yo, just slip off of this. Like it'll change. Your that's life. what you're supposed. To, that's like Warren Buffett's whole thing is like, if you just put a little bit each day, if you just, but I don't have patience, bro. I don't want to wait. 
I'm gonna write well, these yeah, motherfuckers remember, down. He's, he's, and then when he's, I, like, he's like in his 80s, so like. That motherfucker's been away a long time. I know, yeah. but now he's got all well, the money in the world. That's what happens when you own half the world, too, bro. Yeah, but, bro, like... But what do you do with that? Why, I mean, why does, it, does it really matter if you're a billionaire in your 80s? You'd think you would make a utopia. Yeah. So, you wouldn't want to make your own, like... Well, that's what... Like, if I had a... Bro, if I had unlimited amounts of money, I would, like... I would recreate Florida. Why? I would help <laughs> recreate it. You what? would recreate one of the worst states in, the, well, in no, this I'm country? Using this as an example. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I love Florida, by the way. I fucking you defend know what I, mean? this I would place. just try to make everything better for everybody within Florida. Well, and then I, they might sounds, just either thank me or I might just become the next fucking... Sounds like you'd be like a politician. I basically would be. But just like self-proclaimed. Like you wouldn't go run the process. You I wouldn't would just, run the process. I'd let the people pick me. You'd be like, I have money. No, I'm not even gonna, that. I'm gonna change everything first and be like, "Look what I did here. Look what else I could do out there." Dude, I, I, <laughs> I, I that's like the the, 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 <laughs> the, the the little glimmer in his eye when he's like, "I'm gonna change <laughs> things." I, I mean, I like this, I, dude. dude I, I'm just I, saying, I like I, the new I, optimism uh, of just like. I feel just, like I would. I would like. <laughs> I'd probably like buy an island or some shit. Oh, careful, Jeff. But uh, you can make a whole oh, island. Yeah, <laughs> that's not. Huh? I totally forgot. <laughs> what did he say? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. It's just islands have a bad no, uh, stigma attached to them. No, because I said I would buy an there. island, but yeah, no, that, that's not the time oh, for yeah, islands. Right. Yeah, you got to give islands another decade before we, <laughs> before we start buying them up, dude. So we can't go Christopher Columbus and buy a new one right no, now. No, no, no. 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 I you, I well, you, I, I don't know, man. If you no, discover but, it, well, he didn't discover it either. That no, he didn't. It. We can buy islands. It's not in the U.S. Virgin Islands coastline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nowhere near anywhere here. <laughs> oh my god! We got one through like you know Fiji, that they the sell Fijis. that island supposedly, or it's for sale. No, hell no. Epstein's Island. Yeah, how? I mean, I'm uh, sure it is because it's. Real I mean, why would you not sell it? Yeah, because it's, it's already it's already built it's already on. It's already built. got things going. But like, yeah, I think anyone who goes to buy it, it's like you're playing a risky game there. Like yes and no. People because are gonna fucking. I hope, I hope that you don't use it for the same reason. I'd buy well, it and I mean, then I'd buy it and then it'd be I'd a go. hot spot. You know, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be like if you tried to get so away with it. Why does everybody who come here fucking end That's up being? That's the definition of like returning to the scene of the crime. Yeah. Dude. Like Bill Clinton goes and buys the island. He's like, well, let's give it another go. Yeah, he's like, well, it's I guess my next and mine. <laughs> oh my god, dude, no fuck. Dude. I did not I, have I, sexual I, relations I, with that island. <laughs> sorry, sorry, yes, I just yes. wanted to say that. You're like I had to do it. Man. I was like I had to get that out. Sorry, dude. They, they, there's like a list with like 160 names of very powerful people. Yeah, that supposedly have, that have. But do you gone. think they'll actually look into that shit? Like they, no, like they have the list. They, they have. Just, they have they just really? haven't put it out there. I mean, but you think they're gonna do that with how many things they have involving? That's everybody? not gonna happen because no, that, no. that you're playing with people's. Money and infrastructure. Bro, yeah, there's too many. Of, the thing is, like, you're playing with people that have on a different level of power. No, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you're the playing, motherfuckers will close down a whole fucking playing with the Will Walmart Smiths section. of the world. Dude. Yeah, huh? yo, you're playing with the Will Smiths of the world. Dude. <laughs> hey, literally, you don't, you don't fuck with those guys. Speaking nah. of that, did you see that whole Chris Rock episode or his, that, that his new, special? His special. I haven't seen it yet. I want to watch it What's, because what is it? He, he goes on a rant. Uh, what he talks about his the Will defense. Smith stuff, he says yeah. everyone wants to talk about the same thing about the Jada Pickett thing and whatever. Yeah. He's like, but why didn't you guys think about anything else on the podcast? I mean, like on the podcast, on the special. He's like, yeah. I talked about everybody. I blew up on the politicians. Of I blew up on this. I blew up on that. But he's like, but you just picked out the two worst things. That but he I has to know, to. bro. Like you have to know, as Chris Rock, as somebody who waited a year after this Will Smith shit to to say anything or, or really. But like, that's gonna be the first get thing his opinion gonna... out. Yeah, like everyone's tuning in because they think you're gonna talk about it. So yeah. of course that's what people are gonna cling on to. I'm sure the special is fine, dude. I'm sure it's great. It's on Netflix. It's jokes. I, I do want to watch it, but I saw the the Will Smith clip where he's talking about it, and I mean, what yeah, saying? it's funny, and I agree with what he said. I didn't think it was. He was like Jada Pickett's a a, a bitch, and this he basically and that. he he called out for what it was. He was like, this man came up and slapped me, a man weaker than him. And he knows this. We both know but this. But he let another... Uh, but he did that because of a, a woman that's controlling his life and making him look like a fool. He was basically like, you know, he's angry at Jada, but he took it out on me in front of the world. The world was laughing at Will Smith, not not Chris Rock, you know? So it was like, he makes a good point. He obviously does it better than than I could retell it. I'm no, not... Yeah, I was going to say... I'm not the zebra in, from Madagascar. He gets in that motherfucker but pretty he, deep. Yeah, he... um. You know, he goes in on it. And then there were some people saying it was too harsh and shit. I'm like, dude, 
what? I mean, I'm Two sorry, hours? but I sh- at this point, it's like if I got slapped in front of the world, um, I I'm allowed to be as harsh as yeah. I fucking want. Yeah, I'm coming for your throat, dude. Dude, like and literally I'm, the fucking Oscars, dude. Like, yeah, and it was pretty funny because uh, you, I well, it's not funny, but at the same time, it's like what's it called chris rock was saying he's like i've seen the movie emancipation that will smith did because he's a slave on there on the movie emancipation it came out like last year but it's not really i don't know if it's like really out there yeah like, well, that's all where he has a goatee no but he has some facial hair but he looks like very old school but anyway it's like he's in slave time he's a slave himself yeah and he's like, like the only the reason why one. i watched it was because i wanted to see will smith get whipped I was like, damn. Oh, damn. He said like, that? Yeah, he said that. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. That's, that was fucking that's crazy. No, that's I was actually, like, that's, that fu- that's a little fucked. <laughs> <But I, laughs> he was fuck. making a joke, but it was it's nah, fucked hey, completely, dude. That is crazy. Because he's though. obviously, <laughs> he's not really getting whipped, but he's that's, like, that's, extra, bro. that's the movie he is. That's when when they tell you, like, don't fucking speak out of anger or emotion. Like, that's that that's a that. prime example of Yo, like. he's still salty. Yeah, yeah. That's how you know. salty, dude. Yeah. Oh, you gotta get over that shit too. I mean, you wouldn't want to slap back the motherfucker who slapped I'd you. I slap him back, but I would never see a comment like that publicly. I would never see a comment like that publicly. I would smack him back, but that shit, no. Yeah, that, that's you're pushing. That's crazy, it. fucked up. But I mean, I can't speak on on that type of shit. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, of course. Know, like they, they it's got not my call shit. to say whether or not a Damn, joke like that's appropriate that was, between two black men. Yeah, that was I, almost, I'm like, hey, you fucking, you guys that, figured out. This shit was almost a year ago, right? The yeah, the Oscar the Oscars scene? thing was last year. Yeah, it was that's like a crazy. full year ago. So he waited to do it. He was and, and that's the thing is like you know, you Chris Rock can't be upset about people tuning in for Will Smith because that was the draw, bro. That was your selling point. Don't act like you've been out doing stand up and shit for the last decade. You you've been kind of quiet. Yeah, you've you been hosting shows anything, so. and you've been doing TV appearances, but mm-hmm. you're not you're not Chris Rock, the crazy stand up that we all knew growing up. So it's like. He came back because his name was back in the spotlight. Will Smith and this whole ordeal he's made Chris Rock more famous again. Money. Yeah. It's not like he's ever done being famous. Damn, but he, so he wasn't you, actively. Will Smith is still a hero in this. Not a hero, but it's like Chris Rock turning around. And if he's upset, I don't know anything that's going on. But if, if you're saying like he had some sort of reaction to people tuning in exactly for the Will Smith stuff, it's like, no, you can't do that. This was a marketing tool on your part. You got you and your team got together and said, "Hey, perfect time to fucking shoot a special." And you know, I, mean, I don't know. Think it's, about it. He was probably working on the set for a while for it, for it to be a whole fucking he, year. He, from what I heard, he just started standing doing the the tour like on the road to like perfect his act right after the the Oscar shit. I don't think that he was like prior to that doing stand up yeah. actively. So I don't know, but you can you know. At the end of the day, maybe this is all part of it, you know? Maybe they fucking, they plan the Oscars thing. Well, they plan the fucking Chris Rock tour. I feel Rock like at tour. that point, they like, plan the, the, you get cool with everybody and it's just like, fuck it, dude, hey, this week we're going to have a fight. I mean, Hollywood, that's what I'm saying. Hollywood feels like like high school where it's just like this clique well, of people that all know each other and they well, all like just. Like Logan Paul and KSI, now they're making fucking millions of dollars. Yeah, they do the, the prime, prime shit together and it's they like, once yeah, two years enemies. ago you were telling us, like, Logan Paul literally said something like, I wish you were aborted to, yeah. to KSI at a, at a one of those pre-fight, like, getting each other's yeah. face things. So it's like, okay, you know, what are we right. supposed to believe here, you know? But everyone should be able to realize at this point it's all entertainment bullshit, yeah. you know? like Well, it's becoming too much entertainment. That's what I'm saying. Everything looks so overly produced and fake and written. Yeah, and, I can't and believe pre- anything nowadays. Bro, I'm, I'm, like, becoming so sick of it. I just want to see, like authenticity uh, yeah something natural well for that's once. why i was just like i gotta get out for a bit i was like i gotta go just like chill See yeah you. i'm thinking of uh i'm thinking of living my life yeah i'm thinking of starting to live oh you're you're barely thinking about that now <laughs> i'm just starting to think about at, maybe at what age <laughs> uh, 29 i almost said 30 damn don't let me do that yet i still got time you still can think about living life yeah well i'm thinking about like maybe going outdoors or something I always, I always would love, always love going outdoors. Kayaking is what I've been wanting to do for the long time. I love, down. I love the Again, thought of going like outdoors. Like since that last time, bro, amazing experience. I would like to do something though. You go canoeing right here in Boyan. We should. We should. You I gotta force it, me though. It's gotta, not, it's, you have to force you? Yeah, you gotta be well, like, we dude, gotta physically carry this here. man out of this house. Uh, yeah. He's I'm, gonna be like this and we're carrying him. He's like, I'm sick. I'm editing guys. No, we gotta do paintballing <laughs> trip. I do. I do want to pay Paul. Oh, did you go with us last time? No, no, he didn't. He was working. That's right. Me and you have gone twice. Mm-hmm. I have separate groups. Yeah, well, I've gone paintballing a couple times, but not since like 
middle you haven't school, been, high school. You dude. haven't been years. No. Dude, literally a decade or more. Definitely. Can you still run? <sighs> no. Actually, I ran in my car the other day. <laughs> Get the fuck and out got weeded. <laughs> no, I mean, I was... That boy was like trying to put the key into the open door. <laughs> it was a bit of a yeah. It was a bit of a test. I was just like, all right, let's see. And then I remember no, I was no. like, shins feeling it. No, the, the shins test, never used shins to feel splits. this way. The tests are splits. really when you're running and you're like, all right, now let me throw some jumps in there. Oh, what the fuck? This yeah, man's yeah. playing Super like, Mario. If you can run, run, like you remember when we were fucking running through like the to the, after the Panthers game when we went with Matt and we were running to the car, bro. Oh my we god. We had a full on sprint race. We left the place and we were like, yo, this <laughs> this is gonna be a full our walk we were like oh we did you want to race we did that too at at britney's birthday remember we were all fucking drunk and we got to that's what it was we and him were at least a little drunk we were just like yo no yeah you know drunk dudes want to run dude (laughs) (laughs) i I ran with sammy i ran with sammy too (laughs) what is that dude you guys get we get drunk and we're like i gotta fuck i gotta be free you become a fucking uh (laughs) marathon runner no i feel like that's when the star shot comes out i'm like dude i'm faster than you and then you start just going out I just honestly, I just like the feeling. Sometimes, like if I'm in the mood to just run, like you ever just run randomly and just feel, oh, that that fucking, Dude, I needed that. Like, like you're hitting oh, fucking yeah, suicide like, in, <laughs> in a library, like oh yeah, in a library. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. No, dude, I like the straight line, like Forrest Gump, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, okay, <laughs> I don't I'm, fuck I'm gonna go from right this tree to that tree, and I'm a top out. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, phew. I'm gonna keep running, guy too. I like. Yo, to just go. we should find a speed sign, you know, that tracks the speed and run down There's and see who's faster. Oh, dude, just one ball, we're gonna be horribly disappointed, dude. I can give at least a good solid eight, seven miles. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd at least crack ten. I was, I was gonna I'm say, gonna, I'm like, I'm if there's a zero in front of our speed, then then we're already like, we can't. Dude, I feel like I can hit like a 15, 16. Get the bra, chill, yeah, chill, chill. Bro. I don't know about that. You don't oh, got it, like yeah, you used to, Are you drunk yeah. now? <laughs> bro, y'all don't believe me. No, bro. I'll, we'll go after this and check it dude, out, dude. I. We'll literally hit 15. I'm just saying, bro. (laughs) Three grown men running beside a fucking... No, what we're going to do is, uh, right before we start running, we're all going to take a shot of whiskey real quick. Oh, God. And then run. And then then throw up at the end. Yeah. Do you have whiskey, though? No. Damn. I teased you just now. Damn. Is there beers? There's beers. Is there anything? There's Delos, dude. (laughs) Is there anything? (laughs) If you get a Delo, give me a Delo. All right, I'm going to get one. Yeah, sorry. It was an unexpected cast, so we weren't as prepared as we Well, no, we didn't want to drink so early. No. That's true. Saturday, it's, Sunday, it's I drank a lot. Early. I'm not gonna lie, I drank all day Saturday and Sunday. Oh man, yeah, that. But I didn't get hung over. I, I I held it down. I held it down. I spaced it out very well. Well, that's good. I fucking I hate you know. That's the only thing. That's what deters me from drinking the most at this point. Is just what? the hangover. I get. Hangover. Yeah, and I was thinking the other suck. day. It's probably just like because I used to get migraines all the time growing up. So I think there's probably some sort of link with like people that have shit like that yeah because like that's what my hangover is it's not like everyone else is like everyone's like oh yeah the light the sounds and i'm like no i just get a painful fucking headache until we have nothing blocking those like little senses that feel pain it's not even like to me it's just everything like being awake is too much it's just i need to like Thanks, I'll be hung over to the point where I'm like, please let me die. Like, let Dude, me die because if this you ever is... hear the shower on early in the early early in the morning, I'm yeah. hurting. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hurting. Bro. Trying After, to wash like, away if the it's pain. a weekend, bro, or some shit, and I'm in the shower, just like, oh, oh damn. It's like to... giving me an yo. I wish I could have an ice bath somewhere in the house. Oh, I don't. I can't do. That. I think it'd be ice dope, shit, bro. dude, bro. I can't. Damn, bro. I thought I was gonna pop open with you at the same time. Oh man, damn, bro. That's all right, though. I'll do it myself. That was a sad pop too. You yeah. heard it? Just oh, seventeen was crisp. Yeah, seventeen no, episodes. Fucking, you know, you still can't get it right. The first episode <laughs> opens yeah. with that. You guys you trying right. to open beers at the same Fuck. time and not getting it right. <laughs> And you would think, you know, three months has gone by and... Dude, I mean... You fucked up, Can you apologize, please? I'm sorry, dude. Not to me. Now give me your beer. No, no, dude. (laughs) Now give me your beer. This beer's really cold. It's really good. (laughs) Cheers, cheers. We here on the RFP. I got my water. I got my see-through beer. Oh, wow. Woo! That shit hit, bro. Smooth. God damn, that bitch is cold. I I did take a shot yesterday. I took a shot at work. Yeah? Just one. J-Mo? 
Yeah. yeah, you don't really drink at work like that no more, right? No, no. I, it's I, good though. I try to. I used to. I stopped smoking at work now. So. Oh really? Yeah, I gotta focus that, more. That I can never do. Yeah, bro, you gotta fucking deal with numbers now. Yeah. So. Oh, I just gotta numbers just focus guy. a little more. He's a numbers guy. Numbers, numbers guy, guy, huh? Big numbers guy. I'm a numbers guy. Okay. This guy over here, fucking. <laughs> Donnie the account. Gabagool, man. Gabagool. <laughs> you got a Gabagool. <laughs> like, Donnie, what's the deal with those slabs? Did you order them? He's like, Gabagool. They're like, it's like what does that even it? mean? You're fired. Back to the fucking, back to the water well, jet. Well, you know what I've been wanting to do is start, because like, because so, it'd be so loud. And this was just an idea of mine. Like, I wanted to get the guys together and be like, yo, let's like create hand signals. Because sometimes it's so loud as fuck inside oh, the warehouse. Oh, okay, I got you. That, like, I hate screaming, bro. And right? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> got to do a little baseball. Like, a, like pull your earlobe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dust your shoulder three. off. They're like, all right, Section cool. Three. He, he needs you three. Gotta grab the over. flares from the airport, like the, the <laughs> rap dudes. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That'd be dope as fuck. I, dude, I'd, I'd use them for the wrong thing, though. I know it's not, but that shit looks so fun, waving around those flares, bro. Dude, Bruno, I think Bruno used to do that. For right a little before bit. he started he, flying? He did it for a little bit before, yeah, while he was getting his license. Fine. It looks enjoyable, but I, I know just being down there, being underneath a plane seems it's really... It's sketchy, bro. Yeah. Imagine well, what about sucked Webster, in by right? Webster I don't like anything. He, he pushes it, the planes yeah. about it, yeah. He... Pilot, pilots, doesn't he? Does, well, he, he was... He, he, he knows how to fly. He's done it, but he's not going to do that. Oh, really? He's, too much going, stress. he's going for yeah, management dude. now. Like it's the scariest dad. thing, bro. What if Kobe got him? Oh, what? Oh, shit. Damn, bro. Kobe. Charles is I'm still not ready for saying, that. I'm just saying. I wasn't... Damn, bro. <laughs> Charles is still I'm not I'm just saying. What that. if you get a high-profile celebrity on your, your... Like, you're taking one of them. Don't you feel that pressure? Wouldn't that be all you're thinking about? No, because no. I wouldn't want to know who my passengers are. I would hate what? to be a pilot and be like, oh, look. Uh, they like, have to Sylvester see Sylvester Stallone wants to say what's up. I'm like... Uh, but I don't. This that, this person is pay, <laughs> this, this person is this hating. Celebrities paying you massive amounts of money to fly. Large. Them. They're gonna want to know a who's flying. Jet, them. Yes. That's if what I'm it's saying. like a commercial plane, no. Be well, like, oh yeah. No, no, you have hundreds. But of even them though, you have to. The pilot always stands at the front and says hello. I'd be like, are you right? part of the Make a, make no, a Wish it's Foundation? When they land. No. It's usually when they land. Then I ain't gonna meet you. <laughs> Get the heck back there. I got wings for boys and girls. Yeah, it's usually when the, when the plane lands, that's when the pilot comes out because he's the last one to leave. Yeah. The bus I usually see him before the flight, though. He's the first one to enter, no? And then the last and one the to leave. The first one to go in, the last one to leave, yeah. It was mm-hmm. it's, it's, his, it's, it's his plane. Not actually, but, you know. Yeah. I don't know, it's man. Just, I think these, uh, planes in general, I'm not a fan of you flying. Do think these dude. pilots be piping the, the stortuses on the plane? Of course. Could, it's as easy as autopilot. Well, the thing is, wait. wait let me get but back not, there real not, quick. Not like, My high club but here. It depends, <laughs> depends on the plane, though. Because okay. if it's like an Airbus A320, which is the one that we do, we go to Spare. Puerto Rico, that that's too small. Like, you're, you're going to get caught. But if it's like a big, you know, like two two story plane with a huge belt, like. You know, a huge forehead. And yeah, on you top. got economy, and then you got fucking and first you got, class. Like first class, you have suites. Or you got business sure, on bro, that. You, you're not telling me if you're like flying Emirates or some shit as an example. No, you get a whole you're room. The, to fly. You're the head pilot. Is that like a high pro? Like That's a high the end most airline? expensive. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I never there. knew, that. dude. Some of them you come have, with butlers. You have, oh, but you have private seats, uh, private suites Jeffries? on the second on the second story of the plane. So I'm saying, me as a pilot, the second story of a plane that just yeah, that it blows your mind, right? right? And yeah. like, dude, they're you remember con- snakes on the plane? Yeah, but there's two stories in that. But plane. yo, their their, yeah. their economy, like their economy, is basically like Delta's first class. Yeah, so you're Damn. never in a shitty. And tra- then if you have a private suite, and then like there's some available, and you're the head pilot, and you got a bad stewardess, you're not telling me you're gonna go to the private. Suite I'm gonna that's put open. it I'm on gonna autopilot. Go. I'm gonna go pipe, dude. Bro, you, wait. You know what though? We is is movie theaters are all like that now. The eye picks, I they're love, all dude. like super nice, and we should go to the fucking movies. Well, I've gone to the movies a lot. Yeah, I haven't really. been. Yeah, you went. What did you guys well, go they, see? They Quantumania. Saw... We went last night. Wait, too. what is it? Number Quantumania. One. The what is that? Ant Man and Wasp. But you oh. and I, you and I, the last one we saw was uh, the one Pirates. Piece. The yeah. One Piece one. Yeah. One Piece did a movie. One Piece did a movie. They have a couple. Of them. They have like three. Oh shit. We went with Antonio. Antonio. Sung. Sung. Oh dude, that theater <laughs> smells. Sung, dude. That theater smells like Doritos, doesn't it? Dude, that, that <laughs> you walk in to see the One Piece that. showing, it's just like oh, it smells like Monster well, well, and Doritos. We went, we went, <laughs> It was, a pretty, it was, a, it was a pretty nice. It was a pretty nice movie theater, though. Like the La you Sala. You had a nice seat. 
I mean, we were in the recliner chairs yeah. and everything. I that's what I'm saying. Out. I passed out, bro. That's how you know it's comfortable. Most the of them one do... that we went to, me and uh, Matt recently. Yeah, dude, the I was insane. I was that pressing shit. the button like a motherfucker. Like, yo, give me a beer. You were getting service and shit? I was shit? getting service. Oh, that's nuts. Paid for the but wait, that, that I don't do. The SI pay. Bro, what? That's too much. Or we don't have to walk back. I want to watch the Donnie, movie, though. Is that, that's why you got the button. Beer me. True. Man, I got it on. Stop pressing the imaginary Is that I pick in Meisner? <laughs> See? Dude, that place is pretty It's pretty nuts. Nice. Yeah, Dude, they yeah. have a whole restaurant downstairs. Yeah, yeah. How, much, how much is a ticket? Like 30, 40 bucks? No, the ticket it's was not 20, that bad. 20 bucks. It's like 20 something. The ticket was twenty bucks, and then the service. Bro, is separate, we would go obviously. to Santos and pay twenty bucks for all you can eat sushi and die. That's okay, way better. So, though. are you sure? That's what Santos is way better. I mean, for because what remember, is a better you're experience? Consuming, you're this consuming the entertainment. No, but in experience. general, do people do, has this been debated? What? Probably, but like, what's what? a better experience for you? Like dinner or a movie? Dinner, dinner or a good movie? Dinner. A really good if dinner. If I can have both at the same time, that's amazing. No, but I'm saying but that's what I yeah, pick but is. I can't, I can't appreciate my food if I'm. I, I want to watch the movie. So scratch the IPEC or scratch the the ability to so get food at the theater. So would I rather go eat or yeah. go to the movie? You get the option. You either get. I'd to rather go, to... go eat because if I'm depending that's on who I'm saying. with, I, I can I can talk to you in a movie. I can't personal. talk to you. True. It's more personal. If I'm True. trying to fuck you, I'm gonna have to like you know. Butter why would you point at me and go if I'm trying to? I can't see anybody right now. So you look pretty fucking good right now. He like leaned in and everything. He's like. I'm trying to fuck me? you. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. I was like, I'm blind. You look pretty oh, fucking dude. good right now. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. But the thing is, like, it's like beer it, goggles. <laughs> but I gotta it, take mine. You haven't even drank. He had two sips of a Modelo and he's like, bro, you're hot. Now you're a Modelo. <laughs> Modelo. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, shit. No, but I, yeah, I, I agree. And I, I'm asking, maybe there's a person who would prefer the movies, but I. I don't see how you could not prefer dinner. I'm sure you've got like you've done something in the movies before, have you? Um, maybe like a, a light fucking got some fingering head. or something. No, what the oh, fuck? dude, what when the I was fuck? a kid or something. But oh, I don't, no, dude. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm scared of of public stuff. You know, you get put on a list for that. Yeah, but I didn't give a fuck. Well, w- were you a kid or this was recent? Yeah, I was like in high school. Okay, then yeah, like that's fine. School. It's like, who the fuck's going to put on a theater. list? But I'm saying like, yeah, a kid getting put on a list. And they're like, all right, get this kid on a list. I'd be like, fuck your list. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I'm saying as an adult, I would never like, I wouldn't do the like hole in the popcorn or something because like, Bro, I don't know. We're fucking. Nah, fuck that. I don't want to have a buttery dick. You do that at home. Yeah, that also I mean, always that's a, that'll benefit, bro. She's gonna suck, suck the, the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah that's better, true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> what about but, what about? I, a, I'm saying though, that's not sanitary. Imagine like, you get a completely. kernel in the hole, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> kernel in the <laughs> hole. <laughs> kernel. <laughs> kernel. <laughs> kernel. <laughs> kernel. Oh, Damn, my. you got butter in my kernel. <laughs> Dude, Dude, that block bro, you up, bro. That's what I'm saying. She'd have to that suck it so good real. that she sucks up the kernel, starts to choke, and then you gotta give her the fucking I'm like she it's got a the hole. kernel on the back of her throat. You're like, I got it. <laughs> you start sucking it out of her. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. It'd be Christ. a whole ordeal, man. And that's why I hate the movies, bro. Every time. Every time <laughs> the I go, car, the kernel on my dick. Like kernel that. my hole. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel in the hole. That sounds like you're throwing girl. a grenade. Yeah, literally. It's like, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's the danger zone right That's there. That's crazy, man. No, dude. Fuck. I like, I'm, I'm, but you see, I, I, I the like word Colonel is like, it's fucking hilarious. It doesn't get said enough. To me. <laughs> it can mean more things because it's like, it's the seed of something, basically, right? Yeah. So we could we could integrate it into it's a our seed of corn it's language. A corn. It's a corn seed. So right? if you think of like something's origin or something like, yo, what's what's the kernel of that? Like, where's that from? What's the kernel? Are you trying to start? I'm trying. Thing? I'm dude. Curvy down didn't work, so I did, I'm going with kernel. It worked, Cur- right? It curvy worked. down is the opposite of straight up. By the way, people should be saying this. I think. Hey, curvy down. Yeah, curvy down. <laughs> we never used it after this. No, it's because it's we so hard. We didn't even believe in I, it. I'll, the thing is, I'll curvy use. Down. I'll use these words and stuff, and then the second I announce that I'm gonna make it a thing is the second I stop using it. Yeah, you, th- you say it out loud, and you're like, "Then I'm this like, oh is man, stupid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am stupid. <laughs> That's so open. That's so open. open, dude. You can be open. Yeah, that was a good one though, because open was actually well, open. Woke. It's like it could mean anything. You could you could say it as a good or a bad thing. Like, so you're open. That's open as fuck. Or you could be like, that's totally open, dude. You'd, it'd be kind of scary because you might say it to the wrong person and they'd be like, oh, he's open. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, whoa, hold on, hold yeah. on. Like, then you're in I'm a back alley woke. getting the kernel sucked out yeah. of you by, <laughs> by some stranger. 
Oh shit. Yeah, no, you 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 know. It's hard. It's hard to get catchphrases going. How do how do you know where these things come from, dude? Have we had besides like I don't know, lit and all that shit, like even those disappear. No one's saying lit now. That's cap. Everybody cap. says that's cap. Fucking get though. cap out of here. That cap is cap. That's cap. I mean I use I use lit, I use cap. Yo, that's oh, lit. Man. I don't think I've used lit in a while. I abandoned lit pretty quick. But that's my problem is I always start I just thought it was too like I make fun of the shit and then I start using it unironically by accident because i said it so much as a joke like oh, that's lit <laughs> that's lit and then i feel like a I'd month later use, i'm like, like that's, that's lit fire fire doesn't go I, away I, I, I use uh dude the one i use the most is uh dude well, You're yeah for, dude will never oh, go dude, anywhere saw it, you guys like, gave me the dudes just, i wanted for so long to bring back like cowabunga and like nah that's too much but dude come on gnarly gnarly gnarly's gnarly. never left bro. gnarly yeah if gnarly you, doesn't get said enough gnarly yes it does it stays in the the skate surf community, nah, well, dude, that, but it, like, it's it's, work, it's out when there. When we're busy, I'm always like, "Yo, this shit gnarly, dude." But honestly, now that I'm thinking about it's it, it's more like surfer talk, though. I mostly, I know, it's always. Surfer I mostly talk. hear it from Carlos. Yeah, I was sitting there like, gnarly, "Yeah, it does get used," and I was like, "No, wait, that's just Carlos." Like, like, Carlos. Like, but you're the only one that says it with us. No, like, yeah, I don't hear anybody at else least say at that. my job. I, all the all homeboys. But that's because you you have influence on these people. You work at a surf shop. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> is that all you get is you fucking You work at Billabong, dude. <laughs> Look like, oh, oh, dude, true. Oh, yeah, dude. True. I forgot. So Hang 10. Hang 10. Today, Hang 10. <laughs> can uh, you surf, Carlos? No, I can do the... The like, boogie board? The, I love the boogie board, not surfing. I don't know how to is, surf. Is, Boogie board, like skimboarding? Well, no, no, because you have... Uh, oh, boogies your, on the body. body. Half your body's out, like yeah. just a torso. Can you skimboard? Uh, is that the one on the shore? That's a, on the shore. I, yeah. I know how to do it, but I had a boy of mine in high school that he uh, he fell and he broke his arm, Ooh. and I got terrified. I would hate to like hit a fucking seashell or some shit no, like but that, bro, or like a little coral. Or no, something. my boy he just, just hit the sand. My boy just fell. Well, yeah, the sand man, he just fucking he ah. fell like this. Oh. He fell like this, and both bones. <laughs> Like his, Holy his shit, half of his dude. arm was a flap, so I was like, "Yeah, I'm not doing that in it anymore." See, I thank God I've never seen anybody get fucked up completely. Oh, like that. dude, I when I was playing like football, right up front and close in Ooh, high school, with football bro was nasty. Bro, shit, nasty there was injuries. this kid Kleba. That's his name. Shout out Kleba McGrew. I think that was. His I last thought name. he said Cleaver. I was like, "Yo, that's dude, a bad." This was name. Like the most Cleaver? country. Cleaver. Oh. <laughs> that, that would right. be kind of bad. Cleavage? Yeah, Cleaver. Cleavage? But dude, this motherfucker, he. Man, he got speared in the shin. WWE spear helmet type shit? spear to the shin by one of our own teammates, bro. Blue by accident, the guy was going for the tackle. You're the other teammate. He, no, no, no. I was just right next to him, so I heard the, the most c- horrific screams. I heard the snap. I I called for the. You know, I was jumping up and down. Fucking help! Help someone, dude. I. I was shook. Did dude. you I, see blood and shit? No, I didn't even look over. Once I I looked over, saw it snapped his leg, like his shin just snapped in half, and I was like, oh, I gotta fucking bounce, dude. I was like, no. Did you throw up? No, no. I'm not, I'm not a big puker. I, You're not a weak stomach kind of person. No, I, I hate the sight of blood and shit. It makes me queasy, but I won't throw up. I'll just get that like fuck, dude, like that piss the, shiver of like yeah, yeah, yeah. the chill down your yeah, spine. Yeah. Even just thinking of it now, I'm like, oh. But no, you, no, the yeah. weird thing is, I can see myself bleed, and it doesn't really hit me like that. Do you have a period? <laughs> that's why you get moody all the when time. I'm, huh? When I'm on my, that's, that's different. Get I get moody for other oh, reasons. Okay, okay. You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's that time of the month for Trevor again. It's usually the first and the last. No, week. it was last week. It's like end last I, week. beginning. I admittedly, we we recorded a podcast last week, and I I won't say much on it, but I'm just gonna say yeah, it's yeah. not coming out because I was a moody, yeah, pissy dude. little fucking. I don't Whore. I didn't want to do it to begin this with. Be they they coerced me into doing it. I and thought it would be a great idea. That's why I was suggesting. And it. it might not even be as bad as I thought it was, but I was in such a little brat mood, dude, that like even I can't you, even you, listen you, back even to you it. You noticed? I yeah. Everybody noticed. We left that thing, and people were. Donnie was writing Yelp reviews about about dude, me. I had to I had to go to my room and write a Yelp. Yeah, Matt was Yelp. sharpening knives in the kitchen. But I didn't just, know where to Yelp. Because I don't think they're on Yelp. No, no. You just have to go to our website and just write an angry comment. But yeah, yeah, what's it called? Radiofarce.com. Cool. cool, cool yeah, cool. yeah. Oops. Oops, we plugged it. <laughs> Guys, we have a website, man. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> go into a full ad. Guys, if you didn't know, like, 15%. Of- <laughs> no, we're not. We, we don't have any deals for you. The only deal is you get this great, entertaining show for free. One day we'll get some merch. 
Maybe. That'd be cool. That'd be dope. That would be cool. Put I don't know. Fa- you know, we should do the version of like, you know how Steve-O has like uh, his face on his back, like, <laughs> but like we have, it's like you'll have a sh- like a shirt of somebody else. What if we just get like you'll have the you'll have a picture of Trev on your back and you'll have a picture of Carlos. Oh, that'd be cool. It'd be funny, but that'd be cool for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other people would just be like, "What the fuck is this? Who who are these people? We've never seen them. We've only heard them." But it'd be great. But I think we should we should be unique. We don't we don't do like shirts and all the bullshit. We do like make a little radio, like a tiny little radio, but it farts. And that's all it does. You press in it. That's actually pretty dope, right? Like that you, is and you can dope. tune the, the little stations. Maybe we'll we'll have something of us. The opening of it. us. Maybe we'll have our little intro song on it. Wham, wham, You know, we'll have farts. And stuff. And they can, <laughs> I'm over here playing a little violin. I see that. It looks this is like sad. Like, <laughs> what's sad is them ashy ass fingers. Oh. Like, oh. These are not ashy. Hold on, hold on. I was like, I'm blind. But Tell I'm the microphone that one. Oh, shit. You sound like you're starting a fire over there, my man. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? Fuck. Yeah, dude. Yo, bring me some tumbleweed real quick. Let me burn that motherfucker. <laughs> Light a cigarette like this. Tumbleweed. Imagine if, some, if you knew somebody and just lit it off of like. Oh, what? Lit a cigarette with their fingers? Just yeah. Like the friction? Yeah. Uh, can that be done? I don't know. I don't think you can get a hot. I've seen that. people like like do some shit like magicians like to this is how they yeah. play it off or whatever. They get like the match part where you like slide it across like like yeah, the red yeah. little tape on the side of the box of yeah, the matchbox. Yeah, the little match. So box. they get it. They like dust it up or whatever. They put it on their fingers and then they're able to like start do it with shit, their finger. Like, yeah, because they have enough friction in their finger mm-hmm. for that moment to like. I do. Ma- I hate magicians. You bro. hate magicians? Yeah, I've fully turned on them. I used to Why, like magicians. Bro? It just pissed me off, man. But I feel like the sleight of hand is like such an underclass it's, like, it's skill, a little, dude. And, and, like, and I'm not one of those people, but it's a little satanic, dude. It's a little satanic. Fucking with the, the arts and the, the, the wizardry. But it depends and, on how far you take it. Like, I don't know, there's man. Like, don't there's, tell me that's not my card. That was my card or whatever. You know, no, like, no, no. Fuck. But that's harmless. That's harmless. All right. That's harmless. It's all it, No, none of it's harmless. Yeah, Trickery mean, of the harmless. mind is not harmless. The one where I get sketched out is when they start sawing people in half and shit. That's and what I'm like, saying, yeah, bro. Weird. I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. But be I mean, supposedly there's a. The, I've seen how they do it because I like. How the fuck do they do that? I don't know. So like they, they just oh, make that person it. scrunch up inside the box. Yeah. And then they just leave like the fake torso outside. Yeah, there was a video. And there's like another person on the other side with the legs. Not that long ago, there was a video of like someone who filmed it from up in the rafters. Yeah. They were like filming the the magic show and like filming behind the box you could see the girl crouch down and stuff there's a bar in the box that like the saw goes another, the through. table goes through so imagine like you're sawing into something but on both sides there's like a wall that prevents it from actually, actually going through anything it's almost like you're just running it through a an empty like slot mm-hmm. oh, okay yeah so like basically they have it built so it's not going through anything the girl is underneath and then at the end what but how do they make it that's when how do they separate the oh because someone else is is in the other box yeah okay just separate the box and so the head is sticking out oh my god i'm separated you got to be really flexible for that shit though to fit in that box imagine you're getting like a dude that's just weird that's what i'm saying has there been accidents I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure there has that one. So and then he actually got sawed in half or something. Imagine. No, imagine somebody who can't breathe, like being like fucking squished in a box. You could probably like suffocate yourself. Did you can't you, expand your lungs enough. Do you ever see that thing of the? There was one magician who it was super famous. I don't. I don't know if it was like uh, David Blaine or something. Like no, that. no, no. He did it, the water thing. This is like an old school thing, like old school, Houdini. like back in the day. It's along that level, but I don't Houdini's think this real. Yeah, yeah, he was a real guy. Yeah, dude. But this, uh, so, so magic does exist, bro. No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, he. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. This right guy, now. this guy was like on that He's level. A genie, right? But he was doing performances, and there's a clip of him. He has a heart attack on stage and dies on stage. But people like came and saw his magic shows all the time. He did shit like this where he would like do act outs. So people thought he was doing a bit, and people are like. It's the most eerie clip, bro. Like, you watch this man have a heart attack, and people are laughing and clapping because they think he's like, oh, what's he going to do? This big gag. He's falling on the ground. What's he going to do? He's going to come back next. So they could have saved him. Bro, they like, they attention. just sat And then after a while, you just see the, like, the realization of people being like, he's not fucking, he's not moving. So, it was, dude, it's fucking insane. I was, 
I, that's dope as fuck. I, I love how you, you adjusted crazy. that real quick. Like, dope, that's crazy. <laughs> dope, bro. People dying? Dope. dope fucking fucking dope. wild. At least, you know, famine's not pretty, a pretty issue. Pretty fucking anyway. lit, bro, dude. Imagine you're dying and then everyone's just like, yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. Imagine the final things you hear and it's just people cheering and it's just waning, waning out. It's just, yeah. Oh, and then he's like, say I went down as a star, you know. No, I'm, that's, fuck that, that pretty, bro. You don't want to die in your craft? I'd rather let me die on this pot. No, I'm just yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, we can make that happen. <laughs> we can make that happen. There's a lot of cords around I like here. The I, I see he's grabbing my, he's fucking yeah, fun, bro. stretching out the, the headphones right now. He's getting ready to choke me out with my own equipment. I'm gonna get a little piece of wire just to have some barbed wire one day, just to like the fucking <laughs> yeah. piggy blinder one. Yeah, that's insane. Just to have it. That's what they do. That's did. illegal. You can't have that on who's gonna know? Well, except for the world. Yeah. <laughs> The the fifty listeners you just admitted it to. It's okay though they know. Yeah, they won't tell on us. Know. Remember guys, the the just the two of us. You guys are cool. Oh, right? that didn't make it on. It's not gonna make it on here. The just, just the, the two, two of us. us. Like, oh. what would you be? What oh, would your theme yeah, song be? Yeah, we're talking about uh, yeah, your theme song. The what would you? Oh, there's probably a good thing we didn't release this episode. I mean, Jesus, that was a that topic. Was a good one. We had one of the topics. Well, was good one, though. I was like, yeah, that's I, that's I, how I'm, I'm lost. That's <laughs> <laughs> you guys are talking amongst yourselves. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. I, could, I hear Carlos too. He's like, hey, what? What are you doing? Hello? What? Hey, you said what? Is this like thing on here? You said Is what? Like ten fucking times. He puts his hands out on the table and goes, I'm lost. <laughs> There's a neon sign above him, like, yo, I'm here. No, I'm like, in in the in the Oi! in the pissy bitchy moany yeah. episode. Oh, okay. I got I have to we, see that one too. Dude, well, no, it's not who knows. It's, who knows that's it? in the archives. The thing is, in the archives. I, the thing is it's it's not good. It's not like one of those things where we can't release it. It was too edgy. It's just we can't release it. I was being a piece of shit. I was like like not doing bits. I was just like mean he and yelling. He was in the period phase. I was no. It's just on the last on that one that that we're not releasing or whatever. I guess one of the topics. Yeah, it's was, like what what would your theme song be if like you were killing somebody? Like obviously some, you don't want to hear somebody getting hacked. Yeah, know? yeah. And no, and like we you were talking. Have some headphones on while you're killing somebody. So like, what would you be listening? I'm to? pretty sure we prefaced it with saying like the person you're killing deserves it. So yeah. like, let's not you know I don't yeah. want to spin this into like Dude, no 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 yeah I agree, I agree I agree I agree. But no, it's like this is your worst enemy. They did all the you. bad things. You have the chance to kill them now, and you want to jam out to some music. And it was like, what would you play? And Donnie said, just the two of us, just which I thought was way too quick and psychotic of an answer. Well, no, I put, I put, dude, I put, you, I put you, Guantanamera. What? I put Guantanamera, Guantanamera, but the original one from Celia. Yeah, Guantanamera. That'd be funny. As well. No, no, but it's not. No, it's it's like not a real gem. It's a real, real gem. No, it's it's a but really. But why? Like really what? Real. Cause fuck him, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because mine was, was a little detailed. Mine was the fact that yours, like, yours is like more emotional. Yours is like I want to feel every part of like this process. Your Carlos is is more like I just want to fucking jam get through out. this shit. Yeah, 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 like, like, well, he's just like. Did you ever see the movie Man on Fire? I think no, I have pieces I think so. of it. Not with uh, Denzel. No, no. Well, there's a part where he's uh, he, he's uh, uh, interrogando. Yeah, he's interrogating somebody. A dude that he's a sicario and whatnot, and then he has his hands like this and the steering wheel taped up with the fingers popping out. And that song comes up, and he fucking... Oh, my psh, God. And he grabs a lighter, grabs a lighter of the car, and... Psh, so it doesn't fucking... So it bleeding. doesn't bleed out. And oh. then like, he chopped up a couple fingers, got some info, and then just... At the end, like just at that point, bro, crazy, damn. bro. But that's and then from that movie, I was like, oh, you yo, that, that shit's sick, dude. What that? That's like, yeah, my fucking was gruesome. Every time I see those fucking like crazy movies where they do shit like that, I'm like, damn, bro, somebody wrote this. Like somebody, yeah, somebody's sick mind had to fucking. Well, that's what sells, bro. Dude, I know, like Quint- but it's just like Quint- does nobody Tarantino. look into these writers, like, bro? Like, I mean, fucking, it's what like do you want have something that's compelling? Tarantino's or not? movies yeah. are crazy, dude. Like, yeah, that. like, yeah. and they show a lot of. Didn't he do that fucking racist one with the Asians or something too? No, he did the he did the where he was like the neighbor and all the Asian people moved in and he was like, "Fucking get off my lawn!" The one, the one, the one he did where it was crazy. They they threw a shitload of Gran Torino. Was a uh, that was a different actor though? No, Gran Torino was with Clint Eastwood. I think. Oh no! Yeah, Clint are you Eastwood sure? Yeah, was the main character. Of the yeah, Grand who Torino. are we just talking about? Why is my brain? No, talking? Quentin Tarantino. Oh, because he he Quentin did Tarantino. he did the one you're probably thinking about is Django. Clint Eastwood, Quentin Tarantino. Why? I, Grand Torino. Yeah, Django. No, Django I know, I know Django. Yeah, I know that, that one. one. He <laughs> dropped Hella and that's, and that's what Antonio and I talked about who? though. 
Uh, Django Unchained with uh, Jamie Foxx. Yeah, it that's why out, like ten years ago, Antonio and I had a, like we were doing like a bit about that because I love that movie, he was saying he's crazy though. He's saying all these these. Listen, no, I think it's perfect. No, it is, but like, I never seen it to be you honest. Gotta watch that. I shit. just know you, you would like it, but that know, movie, man. that movie is crazy. Like to be honest, when I hear man. white people screaming the hard R, I get bro, fuck, you, I clam up, bro. I'm every, like Ooh. every other every other Samuel white character. In that too. Yeah, and Samuel Samuel Jackson, he's yeah. he's a racist. Snake, he's a racist black man in there. Oh really? I think this is good though. I think we're fucking chilling. Wow, that, that was, was you? Christ, yeah, dude. dude. It was my show. It was my elbows. Bro, you <laughs> should have heard that through the fucking headphones. That sounds oh, so hear? insane. Yeah. yeah. That was like, yeah, dude. I've gotta put I've some been stretching though a lot. It sounded like Cleep and McGrew. Shit. Oh, I need more milk, dude. Oh, some milk. He, he needs some you, milk. You're lactose, dude. Milk. You can't, dude. That's my issue with my life. You're a bitch, bro. You can't get good fucking vitamin D from fucking almond milk and all this other shit. Not that I know Wait, of. what? No. Vitamin D is from the sun, dude. <laughs> or vitamin... What the fuck is it? The fuck are you talking about? Vi- no, that's vitamin E. C. C is no, orange. It's D. Sunny C- D. Get the sunny fuck out of here. C is citrus, dude. But why is Sunny D? Hold what? on, hold on. D, hold on. vitamin D from the sun. Don't look it up. We don't look things D. up. No, I'm just oh, you fucked up. You fucked no, it's up. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. it's it's vitamin D from the sun. Well, you probably vitamin get all D. the vitamins from the sun. No, no, no. It's just D. And it's not that you, you don't get it from the sun. Did Your we? skin produces it with uh, the ray, the sun rays. But you don't get the vitamin does not come from the sun. It's just your skin produces it. So you've that's why if you over tan every single fucking day, you can you're prone to get cancer. Yeah, that's why that, that's why I stay inside. I stay pale, dude. Like I didn't know, but I've been like back home. I've been told like that's I'm actually both. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, the sun D and C provide, dude. That I've been told that like I got a fucking I got a like a you remember Gina, my boys. Sister, she was like, "Holy shit, yo, you're white, dude!" And I'm like, "Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> Wait, say that because I got, I have it, and I have, I've seen pics. I'm not white, right? Like, I'm, I'm not white, by the way. Like, fuck no. But the thing is, they know. I used to, I boy. used to tan. <laughs> I used to be tan, like way more than now, and I gotta get back into that shit. It feels good not having my glasses on. I've been getting. I gotta start taking them off more often. Do you use your phone with them on? No, I put them up. Yeah, don't, ever since you told me about that. Don't use your phone with them because that's not good. How bad is your sight without your glasses? Oh, I can't see from far. I can see you pretty fine. But you're a little I'm pretty blurry. fine? Nah. Mm. Nah. Don't lie to yourself. No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm not even fine blurry. <laughs> <laughs> that's upsetting. How drunk do you have to be before you like that line between fine and unfine or sexy and not? Oh, that just... Everyone's dick that right? varies, yeah. Have you had a moment like that? What? Where you you were drunk, you had a beer goggles on, and like you thought somebody was prettier than what you beer thought. Beer goggles? Yeah. Yeah. You never heard that? No. <laughs> um, that's the term for like once you get drunk and people start looking better than they they're supposed to. Well, that's of course this happened. Shit. Yeah, I mean, trust me. Back in the day, it definitely riled up a few dogs, dude. It was <laughs> like you know. But I I owned it. I was never like you know. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm yeah, boy, I'm no better than, than, than that person. Do, man. Yeah, I wake up the next he day needs and be like, his bone oh, every once in a while. He's like, fuck the thing is, shit. I never would care. It was always judgment from like friends and stuff that like makes that's you. A, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what makes I, you that's think that's it friends matters. Be telling you like, yo, yeah, what like, the tear, fuck? You slept with who? And I'm like, fuck, bro. I heard you fucked so and so, and you're like. That's okay, true. That was the thing. Shit, dude. No, it's and the worst like, part. At least I'm fucking. The worst. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Worst shit is I, and I swear to God, this happened every fucking time. Is all those people who would say shit like that when you would like later on down the line, you'd like talk to that same girl again or something, and she'd be like, "Oh yeah, that guy was always trying to fuck me. And that guy was always oh, blowing yeah, me up." And you're yeah, like, yeah, "Oh." Yeah. Yeah. So that motherfucker oh, was trying yeah. to hit you. Up. So like, dude, that makes sense. It's always what it is, bro. It's always the guys who were like going for it and couldn't get it that they, then they turn to the guy that got it and they're like, "Wow, dude, you fuck. That's fucking. I would never, bro. I would." And you're like, "You would never, or you never. You could. were double dipping. You never too, had the chance. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just funny. You can always. There's always patterns with like behavior like that, or guys who talk about getting pussy like way too often. Guys who have pussy pussy brag. They're like fucking. Dude, and then last week I was fucking this other bitch, and you're like, they have to feel you, like dude? they're a man. Fuck yeah, yeah, it's like you know, I feel like these guys have like a, a back and forth conversation with a girl on Tinder, and it goes on for more than than two exchanges, and they're like, dude, I fucked, dude, I got, I fucked, I gotta one. tell my boys, <laughs> I tell my boys, 
Just like, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Got to tell my boys at the next drunk marathon. <laughs> it's in the next drunk sprint. <laughs> they're, they're, they're running and telling each other this story. <laughs> that is that is the next like, event. We could probably dude. make it to our house if we run Drunk left. sprints, dude. A bunch of dudes show up. We just pregame, get drunk for like two hours. No, And then we just do dude. drag race runs where we just run like 40-yard dashes. Oh and fucking God. collapse no, at dude, the end. Do a manhunt. Manhunt, dude. Man- I'd Give everybody love to play some that. flags, like some uh, flags, like from flag football, yeah. and go manhunt. What are the flags? It involved the running and just the, to have extra lives. No, no, maybe we could do like I mean that's dad. That's thing. You gotta level. get all the flags. But I think yeah, you would have to just get all the flags. Damn, I miss, I do miss playing like childhood games like that. I feel like even if I tried to now, and everyone was, you know, at least amping themselves up to be in the mood to do it, I don't. I still don't think it would have that same effect. Or yeah, dope. like, dude, you'd be, nah, dude. You'd be I'd sitting, go out there on a dodgeball field. I'd be like, yo, let's go. Oh, well, dodgeball, bro. that's different. Like when it's, like, I fucking smack that. I'm talking shit like out of manhunt you. or like hide and seek or it, like these games that like you know you could just play dude, as a kid like, to pass no, time. I feel, I feel like hide and seek as adults now would be so sick, dude. Yeah, uh, hide, hide and seek or like a game of touch and go. Like you'd have to have like a cool squad, environment I, though. Yeah, that, that too. Yeah. We'd have the to be in an more than anything. Because yeah. the squad will be easy to Cause get. Because it's not like you can play hide and seek in like the house. Like you could, but it's kind of like. You can't hide in that many places anymore. Uh, you got to do like blindfolded uh, hide and seek. Like, you, know, you know what I would play? <laughs> is, uh, heads up, seven up. You said blindfolded and remind me. That game was heads fun. Heads up, seven up was dope. Yeah, if and you the had a group of, were dope. Bro, imagine you had a group of like 20 adults. And you guys, oh, so. Oh, dude, damn. damn. That's tough. Yeah. I might know. Wait, I might know seven up. I might know. Hold the finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put your head down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, everybody you cheated in that game. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That would piss me off, bro. Cheating ass dude, the, game. The girls on my classrooms would always cheat and look. And then I would do it. And then they, they wouldn't let me play later on. Oh, my God. And they'd goodness. be like, bro, like, come on. Like, like she just yeah. fucking did it. Like, no, everybody was cheating. Bro. Fucking, I mean, I was cheating the whole time, too, yeah. bro. And everyone always knew when I put their finger down. Because I, when I would go around, I would you do would this one them. thing. And I would suck their thumb. No, I'm what just kidding. What the I'm fuck, kidding. dude? What the fuck? Dude, you get the fuck out of here, bro. Your this man says that. <laughs> I'm like, what? And they're like, yo, 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 that was Trevor, dude. That was definitely Trevor. <laughs> yo, you're using tongue now, huh? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, imagine, at one point, you're going to be like, you're going to just not even leave one of them. Dude, you're like, you just got a lot of good crumbs imagine on Imagine how pissed you'd be, bro. You got your eyes closed, sitting there with <laughs> your head to down, with your thumb. and your thumb just gets soaked out of nowhere by dude, some I would, I would instantly <laughs> bro, look up I'd and punch smack the shit, the shit out, out of anybody, bro. I swear to God, I fucking... Oh my god! I grab that man and just so like throw upset. him on the desk. Like, oh, bro, crazy, bro. Dude, but do you remember? I mean, kids basically did shit. There was wet willies. You remember I wet hated willies? That shit, though. most uh, bro. That was fi- that was that's fucking fighting words, bro. Fuck. Like, yeah, bro. That 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 was very germy. Like, wet willie is dude. like you have the grounds to to strike that person. Dude, you can get an ear infection. Like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, no, dude. I know you, you're definitely right, but like the way he just, said it, <laughs> it's like we had the two complete opposite reactions as a man. Like I'm like, bro, you should beat someone's ass if they stick their finger in your ear, and you're like, you can get an ear infection. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's that's just, even worse. It's just so funny to you hear him back with that to back. shit, dude. Fuck that. No, you're right. You're right. You could titty twisters were another bad one. Oh, dude. A no, little uh, upset. Slap the neck, dude. No, you know what pissed me off? A neck scoop, slaps. Like ne- scoop. yeah, neck scoop. 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 A scoop. Especially if I'm on a bad Moon? Bro, well, oh, yeah. the thing is, if if you were overweight to any degree, a scoop is, is an assault. Yeah. Like, a scoop is a joke when two skinny kids are fucking around and they scoop the nothing that is their titty. But when you scoop somebody who's heavier, that's... But that's, there was fat that's people like that fighting. I knew that were scooping other people. Well, of course, and like, bro. They, if you, you, you did it, it, you gotta take oh, it. Oh, yeah. If you dish it, then you gotta be able to take it. But... If you're just a standalone, you know, big guy, and you're just out there doing your thing, not harming nobody, and somebody scoops, that's like, nah, dude. Bro, the come worst I've ever seen. I think I was in middle school, dude. There was a like a heavy set, uh, what's it called, kid, you know, from school or whatever. And a buddy of ours went to go do it to him. He double scooped him so that way the oh, shirt got tucked in. Dude. Oh. And then they started joking. The, the, they double scooped him. It went so in. That way they could scoop the shirt in. Oh my God. And no. they, bro, they went in roasting, no. bro. They were like, oh, I look, he got a bra. He got I some titties, oh. this and that. Like, I was just like, 
I would have, I would have swung immediately. And it was like early yeah, in the that, morning, bro. Like people getting off the bus. And, yeah, dude. Kids like, used to fucking tabletop like before first period. I'm like, dude, you'd be standing there. You remember this shit? Did kids do this? This might be a white what people do you mean, thing tabletop? too. Tabletop. You literally, like someone thing. would get on their their hands and knees behind the person you're talking to, and then set you up so you push them and they fall over. And oh, fucking, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. the oh, most, it is, bro. Yeah. I'd be so pissed if I fell. I, I, used to, I used to do that when I moved here. I watched in people. The bowling alley. When I, we go to a bowling alley, yeah. do it because every time you, you throw the ball, you're always gonna walk backwards. <laughs> That'd like be looking at your ball and then it's like, oh, oh that's man. fucked up, I did dude. it to you. I think I did it to you, too. <laughs> you I did it to all did. the boys. Yeah, at one point. but I hated tabletops because I saw a dude <laughs> knee himself so hard in the mouth once after he got tabletopped. I was damn. just like, damn, this is dangerous, bro. Because the way I'd you kick fold, you on my way down if I'm fucking going down, bro. You have no I'm time like, to react. Bam! You literally like you're standing you're and then you're shit. swept. No, you're I'm gonna, gonna eat shit, shit, but I'm gonna let my leg down on you. Like you're gonna <laughs> well, feel. If the... you get if you get pushed, then that's fucked up. But if you walk in the, then half of it's on you. Yeah, because you should look back. You should look back. I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what other games you used to play in fucking high school? Or like, um, we used to jump the stairs. That same friend Chaz, him and I used to do this thing oh, where we would, would run and, and jump over the staircases at at school. So you would possibly try to break your neck. Yeah, I mean, if you if you did it wrong, but we did it. We did it right. People were impressed. We also had fart bombs. We put off fart bombs in the um in the trash cans once, oh, and it stunk up shit. like the entire fucking. No, I remember one time they burned a, a trash can in the in the bathroom. Burned. Yeah, burn. Set it oh on my fire. God, dude. Set it on fire. Jesus Set the trash Christ. can on fire, and then they was just flame in the bathroom. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. It's a dumpster fire. Yeah, yeah. A literal dumpster fire. That's fucking insane, bro. Kids dude, were playing I a feel fire. Like like Olympic that. was crazy, dude. There was one time there was a, there was a fight going on, and they were fucking strategic as fuck, bro. Yeah. They threw fucking uh, smoke bombs and little like uh, poppers and shit like that. Like what? The, on one corner of the of the school, yeah. While the APs and everybody's running to that section because everybody's starting to kind of go figure out what's going on, what? you know. Other kids were fighting on the other side of the school, wow. like legit brawls, like two on twos, like shit like that. They fucking set up like a, a yeah, decoy. Bro. Yeah, yeah, and then you would. I, I remember because I actually fucking, impressive as fuck. Super dude. impressive, super bro. smart, super impressed. I was super impressed because they got me too. So you, ran, you were over there looking at the smoke. Yeah, because you know, or? as soon as as soon as a fight or something like that's going on during in between shift shift classes or whatever. Yeah. Fuck class, fuck the bell. I'm gonna go check out what's going on over here. Yeah, I'll I'm be late. To get in on the and action, like, and I'll just skip if necessary. If like that's what I got to do. Yeah. So I went over there. I was like, oh, shit. And then I heard one of the APs. There's a fight over here, this and that. And I was just like, like <laughs> run, start, run, 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 run. Everybody who was around, come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I felt great. bad for this one fight, though, because one time, homeboy, I fucking, he was cool. I didn't really, I, he was an acquaintance of, uh, like, the Chico click, but I just didn't really fuck with him. I don't know. Dude. The Chico click. You know, it was just like, I don't know, dude. He, I he just didn't mesh well with him. He wasn't fitting you know? in. I yeah. wasn't feeling him or whatever. I, I, I no, just I had a bad vibe. There's some people But one just time he got into a dislike. fight. And I felt bad because we were literally like standing right behind, like re- like front front row to this fight. Yeah. And then another kid had came up and like started trying to fight him for some. I guess like uh, supposedly they stole my phone. Yes, yes. Uh, they stole his phone or something like that. And we were known to steal a little few phones here and there, <laughs> shit like that. So, yeah, the Chico you know, whatever, dude. And fucking, I mean, bro, we were poor in a rich hey, fucking man. school, dude. We had to come I'm up. I'm not somehow. judging. I was stealing shit. But, I was a uh, though homeboy happened to like pull his shirt over him oh so he no. was getting beat senseless bro damn. with his shirt over and i was like damn bro like i don't know him but like he knows people i know and it's like do i help or do help i like at dude. least stop it so they can like you know fucking be fair did you get involved no i just let it run out <laughs> yeah, like no, nah, i let him get his ass beat. Yeah. it has nothing to do with me no i mean plus yeah, i knew other homeboy too from other classes so i was just like I'm not gonna make a at problem this point, for myself. Yeah, like, I was like, I'm here in between two. I was like, I barely know that motherfucker. Like, yeah. I was like, he's just as bad as we are, probably. Thing so I was is, like, let's just fucking, I fucking keep it cool. Honestly, like when you see fights and stuff that, like, not UFC and shit. When you see like a street fight, like I, I get like. I don't like the feeling. Like I, the feeling I Depends get inside, I'm like, at. oh fuck. Depends on where you're at. I don't like seeing it in clubs because then it gets me more antsy. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. If I'm anywhere near the situation, but if if I'm seeing even just like a video of a street fight or something, I like get this feeling of like, I don't know. I I hate secondhand embarrassment. Like I hate seeing someone go through a, a part of their life where it's like, damn, if that was happening to me, I'd fucking... Like they broke kill. someone down? Yeah, like watching a dude get knocked out on a camera. Like the guy slapping the guy in prison. 
Oh no, I love that video though. Oh, they're they're prisoners. This okay. Well, there's that's a, different. There's a, imagine imagine uh, imagine Batman versus another like you. Okay. And Batman, Batman just not fully Batman the superhero. You. Batman. Batman. Yeah. Batman our old yes. from Rocco. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a massive well, black. Man, I fucking man. love that man. But he basically palms the face of you, and he lifts you up with his smack, and he smacks you out of your slides. Jesus Christ. Like, he literally went, boom, Dude, and, and he just went down. Yo, and Homeboy started crying before. And he he started, was, like, knocked out crying. Trap. Homeboy that got slapped started bleeding through his Lean nose and ear. Huh? Jesus Christ. Leaning through his nose and ear? Yeah, because he got smacked. Did I say leaning? Or no, I said leaning. Oh, oh I, I, I'm bleeding. He I was heard bleeding. you and I, and I, heard, I started thinking. I was like, he was bleeding through his ear and nose. Yeah, yeah. dude. Jesus Christ. And the, but he started crying right before he got smacked. He started crying. And <laughs> the dude that looked like Batman started laughing. Oh, my God. And he just went Senseless. It, and he, no, he, he, like, he, he like aimed and then he cocked it back. There is, I mean, it, it, it depends on context too. Like, like you were getting at, yeah, it's it like, depends on what. There's that classic video. Of this um, this like white dude, like a Nazi dude, and he's got like Nazi shit on, and he's yeah. sitting there fucking like barking, yelling stupid shit in this guy's face, and the guy just one punch knocks him the fuck out. And it's just like when I see shit like that, I'm like, okay, that's great. That that's hilarious, well deserved. I can watch this over and over and not feel bad for the guy. But when I see just like a regular street fight and I see some dude just get fucking Being demolished, yeah, for nothing. dude, I just oh, yeah, sit there and I'm like, oh god. I've seen a lot of. Like, I can't even feel good for the guy who won because well, I'm like, times Jesus where I've Christ, s- that guy's well, lame. Well, there's times where I've seen fights and shit like that outside of like bars and shit like that, and I'm like, I can't even opinion. Like, I can't give an opinion because who knows what the fuck just yeah, happened. Yeah, true. I, I was like, hey, this motherfucker. Don't get involved. It's like say like I, I happen to see Carlos as a pedestrian, you know, and I didn't know him, and he's fighting somebody. It's like obviously like i wouldn't i don't know carlos but he just happens to be the better fighter there and he just fucking whooped this man yeah that yeah. was You're agitating not get him involved. you know yeah and it's like well shit no exactly it's you know and you don't want to i mean unless you're the people that want to get involved are just seeking fights those are people yeah. that wake up and they're like man i'd love to get in a fucking fight today and you're like you ever think about that you want to test your metal real quick one day not really i used to when i was younger and i had like all this you know pent up fucking man i, I wish someone would come but now i'm like I, I but you don't wanna, ever just want to test your metal just to like spar with somebody and be like, let's see how far I can get. Not like, really. Before I go down. I mean, sparring, sure. You're like, I'd love to like get in a like an octagon, like in, a, in an organized setting. Yeah, dude. like you'll yeah. have pads no, and everything enough I'm, to be able to like. You won't because okay, obviously I you we meant got like jobs, street fights. Got, yeah, I was like, as far fight. as like, no, I wouldn't do no backyard. I'll do like, anything I can to avoid Kimbo a fight. slice type shit. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know about fuck all Kimbo that. slice. I met him. Gang bread and all the boys. Now fuck Masvidal. I don't really like him anymore now. I don't even know who that is. That's a UFC fighter? Yes, yeah, UFC fighter. Yeah. Cuban boy. Oh. You know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. We just watched the highlights of that Jake Paul, Tommy Fury thing. Cause, oh, dude. Because Carlos had... Uh, he said that Jake Paul won it. I mean, I'm just... Knock. Hey, man, that's my opinion. I'm is just there saying. anyone out there that also thinks this? I want to know. I mean, I think Tommy I, Fury I, held his own the whole I way through. I, I'm but not, Jake Paul did get some hits. Yes. I'm not a fan. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the guy, but I, I got to give credit where it's due. <laughs> No, yeah, I don't he know, did man. When he looked scared in the ring. I don't, knocked him out, dude. I don't know. He looks I scared. just can't. Watching those back and seeing, like, it seemed like Tommy Fury made, like, you know, a lot of good, good combinations. Well, hey, the, they both, the, like, he knows he, he's been ah. boxing for longer than Jake. Yeah, of course. Well, he's so. been boxing his whole life. And then, dude, yeah, obviously, like. But is he for real? Jake Paul's a good fighter. Uh, I'm not going <clears> to say he's not. Tommy Fury's. What? What do or, you mean? No, no, no. What's his boxing thing? Tom Tyson. Fury, yeah. Tyson? Tyson Fury. Is oh, yeah. that really his cousin or that's something? That's his brother. Son. No, it's his brother. Brother? brother? That's a face. younger son. brother. Yeah, that, that would Tommy's be. Tommy's a younger brother. Like, wow. age difference. He would have had him when he Damn, was Damn, what like, happened to his hair then? <laughs> Tommy's a younger brother. Tyson's hair. I don't know, but Tyson's what, like 30, almost 40? I think Damn, so. I don't even know. Tommy's my he age, I think. Tommy Fury's what, like 22, 25? He's older. Yeah, he's. Probably 25. Yeah, he's 26. like 25, 26, give or take. He was on Love Island. Brit- yeah. Brittany and I watched the season. Was he on Love Island? Yeah, that was the first time I ever heard about Tommy Fury. What? Yeah. yeah I'm an American. What is he? I'm English boxer. Yeah, yeah. Did we he got voted dude, off the island. I think we saw it we together. Used to, You'll have to watch this we, shit. We used to have yeah. a running joke where we would literally all be in like British accents like, I'm a boxer. I'm a boxer. And like, cause he <laughs> yeah, would just, yeah. he'd always like somehow tie any like cutaway he had to being a boxer. He's like, he'd that's be just sitting all there. He's mentality. Like, yeah, exactly. He's like, you know, the thing with love is when you fall in love, you got to think of it like the ring. 
because you, bo- you got I'm a boxer. Weave in and, and out. It's <laughs> just everything was about boxing. So like we would joke about it, and then fucking cut to like three years later, and I see he's back in the headlines, and it's, he's fighting Jake Paul. I'm like, yeah, of course. I mean, but some of those people get like good contracts for like television and yeah, shit like I mean, that hey, nowadays. I would never pay for the fucking fight, but I watched the highlights and I thought it was entertaining. Mm-hmm. So win win for those guys, I guess. They're making I'm glad a bunch I didn't of money. Go watch the John Jones fight. I didn't see so that either, fast. but I saw that he I would have been upset him. because I'd be like, I just got my beer. Like, what the what fuck? Do you, what do you expect, though, bro? Imagine it's, I was at the like concession John fucking stand Jones, thing dude. and like, oh, round one's going to be like That's, a size dude, enough. it's John Jones. No, I know. It's the I best feel like, one in the league. Does that not happen with a lot of UFC fights? I'm not a huge not guy, but a like... a lot of them, but there's a good percentage that I like some like, of them come in swinging and like, wait, first round, they're done. So if you're doing like a UFC event, you're going to an event with all your friends, you spend all like, you know, two, three hours watching... These warm up fights with these like undercard the guys. Shit, yeah. You're getting drunk, you're getting wasted. <laughs> you wait for the main event. You're blackout drunk by the time the main event comes on. It well, lasts then, six seconds. If you're blackout seconds. drunk, this is, that's the shittiest sports fan <laughs> no, scenario no, no, I can I'm imagine. I'm going to say this. I don't think I'd be blackout <laughs> drunk by the time fucking main card comes on. A lot of people I'd be are. like, why am I even here? I, I might as well have just been blackout drunk at the house. Yeah, but no, I mean, bro, they, when the main card lasts like 10 seconds, isn't it like the most shitty? Well, but you remember, it's, well, we don't remember because we were. Yeah, I wasn't even born. Drunk. No, I wasn't even born for this. But the Tyson fights, yeah, like Tyson fights, they, yeah, they used to be first rounds. Yeah, every single like th- like twenty five thirty. They got to know fights. going into it though. Those guys like, but if you, you know why? Watching though? a Tyson you know, fight, but the Tyson fights, they would knock out everybody. No, of course. But I'm saying they wouldn't be mad because they know everybody who's associated oh, with dude. Tyson. They're like, bro, it no, just no, means no, we no, get no, to no. the after party. No, quick. do you not? They want to get. That's the precisely the reason why they had to make pay per view. Gotta get to the after part. It was because of Mike Tyson. Because he would, the fights would get cut so short. Oh. The sponsors want to get their money's worth, so they'd be like, "All right, we gotta, we gotta make we gotta some, start targeting some motherfuckers for this." Shit, and dude. that's when HBO did uh, the pay per view. They're like, "We need Mike to knock him out with Energizer gloves." I'm telling you, <laughs> they that start NASCARing him out. <laughs> Whole rings is covered in patches, <laughs> McDonald's and shit. Patches off. <laughs> Sports are becoming that though. You, you see an NBA game now? The yeah. fucking court's covered in sponsors. It's, yeah. it's the most annoying it's thing. It's digitally though. Yeah. It's not fully there. It's like, oh, am I watching the Mavericks or the AT and T play? Because it's yeah. fucking like the AT and T logos in the middle now. It's the biggest yeah. thing. You know, I, I don't. You know what I say a lot of I that fucking uh, Conor McGregor's. Whiskey? Yeah. Proper 12? Thank you. I forgot what it's called for a second. Proper Fuck 12. Whiskey, they see that shit everywhere now. Uh, whiskey sucks. We drank it for a while. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't bad, and it was cheap. But it's like... J-Mo's bad. I'd rather... Man. Yeah, J-Mo for the fucking... The bottle literally it looks like J-Mo's cousin. It, do, it does look like a rip-off J-Mo bottle. That, it does. That is annoying. I, I wish mean, he would have just sense, done his own... J-Mo's yeah. better. I feel like that's like a tactic, like a marketing tactic to confuse people. Dude, we gotta go people. to the Panthers game and check out the Jameson Lounge. Oh yeah, we should it's get in there. It's a full Jameson lounge. I don't feel like we'll leave. We'll just stay no, there. I I watch, watch the game in there. Oh, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have screens and everything. Oh, okay. Oh, but it's just the screens. You can't yeah, see out the ice. No, you can't see uh, out the ice. That's like uh, but pay, I'd be paying to go to a bar. Yeah, paying to use somebody else's living room. Like <laughs> yeah. nice living room. You're like, Pretty yo, much. yo, you mind if I slide yeah, through? I, I remember when I went uh with uh Rob G. This was like four years ago, went to a Miami Heat game and we were uh you guys we, were in bathing shorts, huh? Huh? You guys were in bathing shorts. Uh, what no, the no, fuck? no, 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 no. That Wait, was a what? different time. They no, came we, to my game with bathing shorts. Quick, so we left the beach and we went there. But <laughs> that so, was a different time. That was such a, different, a random. I was that like, was, no, that was a different time. This time was just <laughs> him and I before that time, and we were chilling. Um, and we ended up in like a box, like a, a sky box, kind of a thing. sky box, oh, dude, hell like yeah. private bartenders and shit. And Rob and I, we looked at each other like, yo, we're not supposed to be here. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but I mean, we're already here. I'm like, fucking, we got some drinks. But then I felt like Bro, people started eyeing us. I was, so I was say, like, yo, let's let's go. Anybody who looks over and sees you and Rob Gomez are going to be like, like fucking, a bunch of criminals. Yeah, they're going to be like, <laughs> motherfucker, we, we were chilling. I didn't we say dressed that. nice. Fuck you. <laughs> you look like a criminal. We were chilling. We were I look chilling. like a criminal a little bit. <laughs> Trevor, you look like a, uh, a regular white man. I look like a guy who tracks down criminals. I don't look like no motherfucker. Yeah, like, <laughs> like a Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> 
I don't even have nah, glasses. But, Fuck you. But <laughs> thankfully, nothing happened. It was really fun, though. No, yeah, that, like, dude. But that's all full of money. Like that's money. Like that's you have to have yeah, yeah. there. People go there to socialize and, and they don't know, even talk watch shop. a game. Everybody was talking oh. with each other, and it yeah. was like a buffet and shit. That's yeah. how that's how it was when I was talking about the last time the thing. Yeah, and it was like when last time I went to a a skybox area. That's what it was. Nobody was like watching the game. People were mingling and yeah. having drinks, and and then they're smoking cigars there too. Oh, I didn't That's know that. That's what I want to do. That's crazy, though. I don't like cigars, dude. I, I just can't. I want to smoke them. a cigar at a game and just be hit. hit I like uh, the idea. I want to like celebrate something and be like, yeah, I'm going to light a fucking cigar. But like, every bro, time every I... Every day is a celebration. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. I still got the Huffman's, bro. We got to kill those. I still before. got my cigar in your box, too. Well, we got to kill them because they're going to go hot, Mine's a cognac, I that think. That hot tobacco fucking... I would love to do it on a boat. That, See that, that sounds really, awful. That sounds awful. It's one of those things that like that would look cool in a picture, right? But that's why you I want a boat it. smoking a cigar. Okay, wanna, yeah, I want to hit a. Boat. I want to hit a poly. Fucking. But have you? Did you ever smoke cigarettes at any point? Yeah. Hell yeah! You ever smoke a cigarette in the sun? It's the fucking worst feeling. Not really. Not really. What, dude? I no, mean, when you, I when you work outside, you're, you're like, fuck it, right here. Oh my god, I I had to go find shit. If anything, to smoke you feel cigarettes. warmer after fucking hitting the cigarette. Like you're right, you're just I like, I think stash. the sun's not that bad. I can't believe I'm. I thought you guys would agree with me fully. Nah, no, dude, bro. that's the white in you. Hey, can somebody please chime in and help nah, me? Nah, dude, that's the no, white. No, in no, no. Get in the comments. Say I smoke cigarettes in the sun. No, wait, don't say that. Say the opposite. Dude, I feel you like just agreed with us. Fuck. Rabbit season. Oh, yeah, rabbit season. No, I'm glad I quit cigarettes, but that was my least favorite thing was like taking a break on like a hot day and you're slipping out back and I'm like, oh, the sun's beating down and I'm smoking this like hot cigarette, you know, so. It gives you something else to be pissed off about. Yeah, true. Yeah, you like, just start hitting what? it harder. <laughs> Rip it in one go. Dude, See, like, dude I've, I've gotten like people. halfway and oh. I've never been able to get further. I, I don't mind. The, like the worst in my opinion is in Puerto Rico, at least when I would hang out and I'd be sweating bullets. It'd be like 90 degrees, almost midnight. And yeah. That, that's when I have a hard time smoking one. Yeah, yeah. When you're having but a heat stroke. Any other scenario, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't mind the sun or anything, but if it's nighttime and it's really humid and hot out and I'm already sweating, I can't smoke one because then I'll pass out, probably. Yeah. I'll start looking at what. Look He'll at tell me, stuff. too. He'll be like, yo, give me a second. Give me a second, bro. Like, right, give me a minute, boy. Okay. Let me, get, let me it cool off. It gets hot as shit He's like, down I'll there. give you one if you want one, but I was like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. It I'm gets good. hot as shit down there. I used to love black and milds, but now I still I, I love can't. black and milds on a boat. I tried black with you not that long ago, but that a couple. It's because I, I was, some I occasionally freak them once in a while, and I I like because I like the little like I like to just pull when out I the filter. Them, no, no, I pull out the filter, but just take a little bit out so it burns a little bit quicker. Yeah, but you get, also get a little bit more tobacco. Okay, because it's lighter. Oh, Jesus, but what's it called? <laughs> I forgot where I was going with this. I completely. Holy sauce. shit, dude! I, I yo, that boy went. Tony, <laughs> yo, he legit sort, short circuited, bro. Like his, his fucking whole yo, head he turned and he just, I was just he like, just shut yo. down. But I forgot where I was going with it, dude. That's why I was just like, yo, I was trying to find the train track oh, and I was just like, I lost it. Yeah, that's okay. It. That's all right. But I was trying to say I like black and miles. Okay, like, I still Donnie enjoy likes black and miles, bro. <laughs> they give me a nostalgia. That's they the give thing. Me That's why I tried to smoke it with you because I but was not like, the, "But I can't do the wine anymore. It has to be just the <laughs> no, original. No, yeah, I, I can't do the flavors original no only. more. No and flavors. I, I never liked the uh, cream. Were you a big wood tip fan? I I did it for a point. I did because it because I thought, I thought, it, was thought like it was classy. Yeah, exactly. I, I was thought like, it was, it's like I'll no. have a cigar for real. Looking back though, I'm like, no, the class that plastic fucking tip. That's where it's at. Dude. Yeah, that's, that's the scumbag. You were a dirty motherfucker if you bit it. Oh, dude. Yeah, I just said. You bit it. If I was smoking it by I just, myself, you know, you know what's funny? I you're just a dirty said. I just said. I just said. I bu- I like biting it. And you're like you're a bum fucker if you bite it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did well, not hear that. Yo, that's, what the that's fuck? The thing. You, I'm, I do that shit though. I bite it, bro. Not, that's disgusting. I'm it's bad. like biting on a straw. I like playing. Leave with the it. straw I like, alone. I like having it like this and going like back and forth, and it'll go like yeah, <laughs> balancing it, like, yeah, yeah, making yeah, it bounce like your dick. You guys, you know when you have a what? boner, when you have a boner, you make it bounce. Oh yeah, yeah you yeah. flex a little. Bit. Like what you're doing? Yeah, with it. Flex. yeah cock flex, yeah, dude. Cock flex, little cock flex. Like, I was just like, what do you mean? I was like, oh, oh, oh. So, uh, girls always call it different shit. They'll be like, make it dance or something. You know, like yeah, they, like it's they, not dance. They don't, <laughs> you don't understand the art behind the cock flex, dude. This is no. When they try to dominate your cock flex, you're like, oh, you do it because you're you're nervous. I'm like, bitch, what, what the fuck does that mean, bro? 
I was like, yeah, I do it because I feel like it. No, I'm doing it to get your attention. Ah, don't, hold on, hold don't, on. Don't. Dude, there's no way of... Not, Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> there's no way of Calling not, not doing that without like, not tightening your ass when you think about it. I, I mean, yeah, because you're using that, like, Dude, you know what's, muscle. you know what's gross? Tried is it. we all just try to shut the fuck up. You, <laughs> I tried you all know. Oh, you're no, a dirty no. motherfucker. No, you know you all You tried to get hard for us you just know, now. I, <laughs> no, no, I, no. I, no. <laughs> I did it before all y'all. That's why I was like, oh, I didn't wait. He was like, doing it while we were talking about it. There's no I way. There's little, no way I'm trying right the now. the blood flow right now. There's no speak. way. He's like, I just no, did a little no, pelvic. No, 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 it's not that, bro. He's like Kegels. <laughs> no, yeah, but I think at the same time for a brief moment, we all did a, a pelvic twitch. Like, I think <laughs> we were the all nacho? like. Because we, I was, we, I think we all tightened our ass to see if. We all lifted a second. <laughs> we're all like, no way, dude. Uh, we were, we, for a brief moment, we were a floating podcast, dude. We were all up in the air. We're like, oh. Yo, that sounds so stupid now that you think about it. Oh, my God. Our, our buttholes had never been tighter, dude. That, to <laughs> whoa, half whoa, a whoa, second. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, your, yours has? Mine's has always been tight, bro. I don't, I don't know, know if dude. you've ever had an experience no, where when it you, wasn't. When you take a, that's on you. When you take a dump, that's your life you're essentially getting okay. fucked in the ass. Oh. It's a reverse fucking, dude. Damn. That's why I... Well, unless it's diarrhea. That's why sometimes I suck the shit back in and out so it feels like I'm... Oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to end the podcast, guys. Ew, five stars. <laughs> Please rate us five stars. Get the fuck out of here. Spotify and Apple Podcasts. iHeartRadio. We're on Sirius I Heart XM. iHeartRadio, dude. Heart Radio, dude. We're there. We're I on, love the iHeartRadio. Hey, we're on Deezer. 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 Yeah, Deezer. Deezer. Nuts. Deezer Nuts. Yeah, Deez Nuts. Yes, sir. So fucking go listen. We're also on our own website, you guys. You can check it out. It's called www. Radio farts. www.cocksuckers.com slash radio farts. Cocksuckers.com slash radio farts. That will take you to our page. Or you can go to meatspin.com. That's one of our other pages. Do we have a uh, page on Grinder too? Probably. I think we do. I mean, you're running. You do. No, I don't. Hi, oh. You're the one that puckers up. Hey, we all puckered up for this one. All right, episode seventeen. He did it first, we though. He did it first. Hey, dude, hey, he was no, willing to experiment bro. for us to fly. <laughs> I, want, I want right now for us and all the to listeners at together. home. We're gonna do one quick pelvic twitch on three. All right. Okay, ready? How many did it? T- damn it, dude! <laughs> it's like cracking the beers. This guy can't time shit out, bro. <laughs> he busts too quick, bro. Damn. One, a two, a three. <laughs> <laughs> You Thanks do it, for I'll listening, you guys. You. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to the RFP. Oh, man. My booty's so tight. That one's good. Oh. <laughs>